Just a good old boy Never meaning no harm Beats all you never saw Been in trouble with the law Since the day they was born Straightening the curves yeah. Flattening the hills Someday the mountain might get them But the law never will Making their way the only way they know how 
that's just a little bit more than the long of life. Another another muted. It's because I didn't turn on voice meter. God damn you, voice meter. Oh. <laughs> I got you again. How about that?
cut that out. Cut that out of the podcast. Just, just <laughs> you will. I'll cut that out of the edit. Just clip that out. <laughs> That wasn't my fault because I couldn't download the Hulk Hogan GIF before the stream, so I restarted my entire computer because it wouldn't let me download it, uh, and this is the result. Uh, Captain Seriously says, evening. Evening to you as well. Uh, and then Tuesday with the diamond here on Thursday. Lord Zenu WT Law says, let's fucking go. David's Hard Rock says, David's Hard Rock says, says rock hard, rock fucking hard. Okay. Flamenco with the host. Shout out to Flamenco. Captain Seriously just re, uh, just subscribed, excuse me, for one month. Red Ice TV is hosting us as well. Uh, they'll be on here soon, very soon. Uh, also, entropystream.live slash the Ralph Retort is up and running. StreamElements.com slash Colorful Ralph slash Tip is another way. Chill Stream Uncut, all one word. Also, restreaming us. Over but a lot of people YouTube. watched last oh, night as part of the monument talking? came down, crashing on onto one of the demonstrators. The terror. Wait, what's Shut going on? <laughs> Sorry, this site keeps uh, interrupting my intro, Gator. I I uh, fixed it though, but don't worry about it. <sighs> okay, uh, so yeah, you get that plugin that I've got. You can mute tabs because I f like I don't know why they do that. Uh, some websites will start uh, continue to play videos even when they're not the focus. Yeah, I can I can do it, but uh, just it caught me off guard. Gordilla thirty seven says Henrik, great guest. Andy, not so much. That's rude. Uh, also, there's a bonus episode up with Gator, Peyton, and myself discussing. Uh, actually, we were watching it live. Uh, the Sony PS five reveal. Gator, your thoughts? Oh my god, it was <laughs> it was a fucking disaster. I mean, there's a couple of games that look kind of nice, but. They didn't talk about how much it's going to cost, which means it's going to cost a lot more than you think it is. They didn't talk about the hardware. They didn't talk about what the hard drive space is going to be like if the two different units are going to cost different. Uh, and like 90% of the games were garbage. I mean, there was a few there was a few good ones, like the reveal of Resident Evil 8. That was good. Um, Hitman 3. Hitman 3 looked really good. Uh, I got to be honest, I, I liked the, Grand, the new Gran Turismo. It, it looked pretty decent. I'm not much of a car, uh, racing game guy, but it looked really nice. I wasn't blown away. I also see this sticker. Uh, I can't breathe. It shows the white PlayStation on top of the black PlayStation. Uh, <laughs> oh, no! Almost, oh, no! Almost tweeted that out, and then I thought maybe I shouldn't. Gordzilla37 <laughs> says, rude but true. Again, so we watched that live. You can check that out. Uh, on patreon.com slash the Ralph Retort, newproject2.com slash the Ralph Retort, and I have set up subscribestar.com slash the Ralph Retort. It's finally set up. Uh, so we'll see if uh, New Project 2 uh, gets back going, but uh, it's definitely set up. Now, this is something that I think we need to all see, Gator. Uh, if you'll look... Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, if you'll look in the... Uh, show oh, links. Actually, that was suggest stories, but look in the show links. We need That's alright. I, I pulled it up from. I pulled yeah. it up from suggest stories. Today, I take responsibility for my role in eradicating racism in America. Unless white America acknowledges its privilege, systemic racism will persist. Act now. What will you commit to? This is Julianne Moore, award-winning actress, right now. I take responsibility. I take oh, responsibility. And that's, uh, I Paul. take. By the way, it's not just her. That was Aaron Paul as well. I don't know who this gang is. Responsibility. I take responsibility for every unchecked moment, for every time it was easier that was to Mia ignore Sorvino, than to call it out for Kristen what it was. Bell. Every not so funny joke. Forgot his name. Every unfair stereotype. Every blatant injustice, no matter how big or Deborah small. Messing. Every time I remained silent. Every time I explained away police brutality. Dice Brallis, uh, or turned a blind whatever eye. her name is, uh, I Bryce Dallas Howard. Responsibility. Julianne Black Moore. people are being slaughtered in the streets, killed in their own homes. These are our brothers and sisters, our friends, our family. We are done watching them die. We are no longer bystanders. We will not be idle. Enough is enough. I will no longer allow an unchecked Stanley moment. Tucci. I will no longer allow racist, hurtful words, jokes, stereotypes, no matter how big or small, to be uttered in my presence. 
I will not turn a blind eye. Oh, Going for a, a job a should not be a death sword. sentence. Sleeping in your own home should not be a death sentence. Playing video games with your nephew should not be a death sentence. Shopping in a store should not be a death sentence. Business as usual should not be life-threatening. I stand against hate. Sarah Paulson, I stand no, against sorry. hate. I stand against hate. I stand against hate. I will stand against hate in love. I will make my presence known. And killer cops killer must cops. be prosecuted. They are murderers. <laughs> we can turn the tide. It is they time. They can't keep getting away with it. Responsibility. Call out hate. Step up and take action. All right, Todd. Sorry, that was a Bojack rip. Uh, okay. Hendrix here. Not exactly early. Give me, give me a second. We'll introduce uh, Hendrick, Hendrick to the show. There were a couple things I wanted to get through first, though. Maybe we should wait for Hendrick for the vow segment. I think we'll wait. Stocks suffer their worst day since March, Gator, with the Dow plunging more than 1,800 points. Ladies and gentlemen, that's on fears of a renewed coronavirus spike. You know what? I don't care because guess what? My travel ban got lifted today. I can go anywhere in the country. Uh, and I haven't decided yet if it's going to be L.A. or New York or Chicago or maybe maybe just uh, maybe just out into the flower country. I'm not sure, but I'm going somewhere. Out to the good old Nebraska cornfields, maybe. Lord Aragon, oh, excuse me, Lord Aragorn 2019 says, sent you a LinkedIn invite, Henrik, need more friends. Spicy one says, why was Mr. Peanut Butter sorry for being a good boy? Mr. Peanut Butter was basically a good boy, but he was also a self, uh, you know, obsessed egomaniac the entire show. Although he didn't really realize it. Uh, the difference between him and him and uh, Bojack, Bojack was also a self obsessed egomaniac but he realized it and therefore he hated himself uh the entire series uh peanut butter didn't really realize it so he just you know lived life happily <laughs> that's basically uh the difference between the two characters sorry to go into a rant about uh bojack there but yeah that's that's kind of my read on it at least uh okay henrik you're here hey can you hear me Yes, I can. Now let me nice. uh, pin you to the screen here. All right. Now, what's your read been on the past two weeks of uh, riots <laughs> and unrest and all that stuff? Holy smokes! I I, I don't know. I mean, I've uh, I've never seen anything like this. Not on this. Not with this speed, and not with this um, just complete fold. I guess by uh, by by law enforcement, by people in politics and stuff. It just it's the craziest shit I've ever <laughs> I've ever seen. Uh, and Virginia, by the way, specifically, even Richmond uh, has been particularly bad when it comes to the, the statue removals and all that kind of stuff. Like everybody's folding. I was looking at uh, what was it that WTVR CBS six Richmond on their Twitter feed, and it was just like story after story after like you know statue removed and uh, it was Jefferson Davis and this has been vandalized, this has been vandalized, and we had that shit in Portsmouth. Was it Portsmouth? Um, yeah. The dude who yeah, was hit by the statue. <laughs> it was just like I don't know. It's just. I, I'm I'm surprised it's going this fast, um, to be honest. And uh, I I don't know if the do the left think that there will be. I, I mean I get that they're trying to uh, gain as much ground as they possibly can and push just as hard as they can, but I wonder if they think that there will be no counter reaction to this. It's very curious because this I think is is a they're there's a very dangerous line to cross because I've seen more normies waking up and questioning this kind of stuff than than ever before and I welcome it frankly, I mean now we're seeing what they really want right it's 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 a just destruction of Western civilization it's an it's an open attack on on white people white people are the problem it's just an the anti white boogeyman has come out of the closet <laughs> it's just like and I just I did a actually going to do a short video. Lana did a video back in I think it was in June 2018, and not that we were like early on this by any capacity. There's people that have seen this for for decades now, but uh, she did a video was called "Well, They Want You Dead, White Man," uh, <laughs> which was kind of pertinent because I knew where we're going. 
Uh, but I remember Daily Beast was attacking us. They wrote a, a, a Will, a, a old Will Summer over there uh, at Daily Beast wrote a piece uh, on it and say, YouTube refused to remove the channel that had a video called They Want You Dead White Man. And, and uh, the subtitle was, they're basically calling for ethnic cleansing. <laughs> he said, I, I don't know how he got that out of the situation. But anyway, um, I realized we're t totally vindicated with, with, with a video like that these days because it's like now it, it's always no matter how much you push no matter how much you kind of you know peer into what they what these people want what the agenda is it always ends with like white people are the problem and and they have to be removed so i think this is crazy this what's is the answer crazy. going forward i would say this is the craziest uh time you know some of the jokes that we used to make uh you know defunding police used to be a radical position open borders used to be a radical position that's no longer the case henrik and uh wh where do we go from here exactly well they I, I mean that depends on where you are on the on the fence i mean i think if you are a white person uh, and as we've seen, even if you hate yourself, even if you hate your own group, even if you bow down to every demand that they have, at the end of the day, it looks like that's not good enough. They might they might let you kind of be there for for some time. I'm talking about like BNF, BLM and these kinds of groups. And as we've seen, even Antifa, this little autonomous uh, zone, this uh, C H A Z was it in in uh, Seattle, the the, the right. uh, 14th Eastern Precinct, I think it was. Uh, I saw some footage from there today, but it was like some some kingpin kingpin come in and just like basically started ordering everybody around and like taking over the whole show kind of thing. But uh, you know they were attacking like white people, like Antifa people and stuff like that too. But uh, so it doesn't matter. Like you can you can bow to all these things. You can you can fold. At the end of the day, I think they see you if if you're white, they see you as a, as an enemy. Uh, and I, I don't, I don't like that. I don't, I, I don't think this is a very good approach to things, but that's just, they, they're setting the rules. What my, my point is they are, they have declared white people enemies. Um, <laughs> and, and some, there's some white people that run the show too here, of course, but, uh, there's also a lot of other groups here, uh, involved and they've kind of managed to join at least for now, kind of the, the not people of non-European descent into a kind of a new proletariat. I mean, this is like a, this is a communist coup. It's it's a Bolshev neo Bolshevik takeover. That's what we're seeing. And these people have the new proletariat is essentially non white people. And there are some white people in that branch too that have lined up with them. But the end of, at the end of the day, as they've done through all these other Bolshevik revolutions, they they kill off the revo revolutionary um, uh, guard afterwards. The, the the elites, those who end up on the top of this thing, they realize that if if these people manage to pull off a revolution, they could they could depose us again. So let's get rid of them. Let's line them up against the wall and take them out, kind of thing. So I think. Uh, I mean, I think it's, it will be freedom of association. Like I said yesterday to you, Ralph, in the in the in the chat. Like I think freedom of association is a great thing, and those who don't want to live like this with people who hate them, they should be free to associate with whomever they want. I think I think a breakup uh, of the United States is coming. Uh, don't know how long this. Yeah, I mean take. that's what I was asking. Decade. Basically, I mean, yeah. is there a way to still live in a federated country uh, with? Uh, you know, I mean, we've done it before, I guess, with with segregated districts or certain districts who choose to live how they want to live and others who choose to live how they I mean, that's the setup of the United States, basically, was how it was right. supposed to be. Uh, but yeah, go ahead. No, I mean, exactly. I, I think the problem is that you have also now a group of people, an elite class, too, which just they wouldn't tolerate that they would they. The, even if you go away in some faraway corner and like, <laughs> it's just like, all right, we want to live our a peaceful life here. We want to raise our kids. We want to, you know, even if they, some people go back to a rural lifestyle, we've seen this in Germany too. They attack them like the, you know, Orania in South Africa, right? These are very small uh, enclaves right now, but they're being vehemently attacked for literally hurting nobody. They just want to be left alone. Right. <laughs> so I think that's going to be increasingly uh, hard. I think if, if people want to try to separate themselves, Although I think that's a natural solution to it. But the question is, will the elite and the establishment also, accept that? You know? Also, I don't know if you know this, but the camera that's showing you is from the side. If that's on purpose or not, I just want to make sure. Yeah, I thought you guys can get a studio. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like the studio view anyway. I just want to make sure that's what you were going for. Yeah, you got uh, it. Now, you got it. now, what do you say to the people who, who mentioned that uh, there's no realistic chance? Well, this is their position. There's no realistic chance of a breakup of the United States. Uh, it will be put down violent, violently. Uh, as you mentioned, the elite's not going to go for that. Um, is that even a feasible option, or is that some pie in the sky type stuff i think initially it's a it's a it's a it's a pipe dream but i think eventually it will be too unstable i, I think 
I don't think they will be able to hold it together. I mean, and, and, uh, there's a lot of interesting things happening at the same time because it shouldn't be. De- I mean, I'm not. I never bought into like the the Russia, you know, hoax and shit that the sure. Democrats were pushing. But I, I. But you do have to recognize that uh, China and, and and Russia and other elements they do benefit from a destabilized United States. I mean, this is the international police force of the world. They're seeking to do their own thing. They're setting up the Belt and Road Initiative. Israel has a you know major part in that project. And I think a destabilized United States is very beneficial to them. And that's what we're seeing, you know, RT, like inviting more, you know, controversial guests and, and, and kind of driving a wedge into these issues. Supposedly the, these ads that they had about Facebook or whatever was obviously very mild, but it's still a, a sign of, of the fact that there are, you know, forces in Russia and, and China too. I think I forget what the latest thing was. I think it was, I actually had the article, it was China had some uh, Chinese communist state media chief threatens to host Antifa and BLM leaders, right? There was some uh, Chen Chu. I, I forget what his exact position is, but he's somewhat high up in the uh, Chinese Communist Party, and he was basically saying, you know, we, we can, we can uh, cause further rifts and kind of make things more difficult for you guys if we encourage like certain uh, subversive elements within the within the US to kind of put them into a prominent position. So I think they benefit from from this uh, the tensions that exist and a, and a weakened United States will obviously, you know, a, a busy United States that has to keep up with just solving the basic fundamental uh, you know aspects of life of like keeping up with infrastructure and the all the social turmoil and stuff. That will benefit the other the other powers uh here. But but my point is I don't think they'll be able to hold it together. That that's the, the the kind of sad reality. You might have some crackdowns if you if you see, uh, you know, people trying to, you know, declare some I don't know some some state independent or something like that. Yeah, in the beginning, I think you'd if that happened, you'd see probably a, a violent crackdown from. Well, that type you know, of thing happened stuff. in other empires throughout history where they just declared their own. Uh, but um, now, uh, BG White says best guest of the week. Thank you, Henrik and Ralph. Very kind. Thank you as well. Uh, you. One, Wondering Soul says, every time I hear Chaz, I think of Chaz Bono. That was my first thought as well. Now that you mentioned it, I think we need to hear from Vouch, Henrik. That's what I think. Uh, good. <laughs> You're a good friend, Vouch. We have to watch this this whole clip. If you look in the side of the <coughs> chat, uh, there's the link to mm-hmm. the clip that I'm about to play. Uh, and I'm going to put it on the full screen. There's the full screen treatment uh are you how do, how do I pull up the chat the again giving the chat um it just disappeared the, on me would i put up for, for, for the up? stream no for the uh the uh, google what is it meet the interface I don't oh know if you uh um, it's near the top of the bar oh, yeah. there okay yeah, 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 yeah. it's a little chat icon got it got it that's a little weird uh coming from hangouts it's to cool meet. no it's yeah. like <laughs> it's just like hangouts kind of but it's kind of souped up so it's got a phone number call in and some other stuff also you can't just rate it you know i have to allow the person to come in as well uh so there are some benefits uh if you've done a lot of streaming like me that have been that has been rated in the past all right uh <laughs> you ready henrik mm-hmm. all right yep, let's, let's hit it right now like it's really funny because um, I'm over here. Uh, just, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna here. Wait, hold on. I should probably move my webcam down because I'm like blocking their faces. I've been doing it the whole video. I just want to say, do you think it maybe speaks a little bit to the fact that we have a rape culture when we put six people in a room together to talk about Me Too and the four when they're like, hey, who of you have experienced? sexual assault and the four women sit down and they've all been raped and they all can barely choke out a coherent sentence uh, uh um like does it do we think this perhaps maybe slightly speaks to the fact that there's a problem like huh me perhaps. too has gone too far false allegations are ruining people's lives okay oh wait for it who among you have experienced sexual assault and like every woman in the room starts crying like <laughs> I almost every female friend I have has been uh, ex- ex- the the recipient of sexual assault or violence or rape or whatever at some point in their lives. Seriously, it's such a common thing. I think one in four is probably understating it significantly. I wouldn't be surprised if the rate for sexual assault on women over one's lifetime was as high as one in three or one in two. We just don't know because nobody fucking reports because reports aren't taken seriously. That's what Me Too is about. I agree, Vouch. <laughs> You're like, I don't think things are on the same level, but things impact you in like bizarre ways. 
be it like because the perpetrator wasn't white um, and because oh, he well. was like I, I'm, <laughs> you know part of like a certain religion uh, are wait what? are we being real and when the police were basically just like we can't because um, of cultural differences which I don't feel like is such a good what bullshit <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Did she turn her fucking rape confession into how, onto how the rape fugees, fucking Ahmed Muhammad, raped her and the police were like, oh, we can't persecute brown people. Bullshit. Bullshit. That, that, that wasn't Gator Soundboard. That was the clip. That, that, was... that wasn't, yeah, that wasn't the clip. <laughs> now, now, you notice how quickly the worm oh, turned there. Henrik, if you want to comment on that before I play the second clip, go ahead. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean this, is, this is gold, right? This is, this is always what happens. This is always what it is. Uh, and literally, like, two seconds later, right? Oh, she's, oh, she's talking about Muslims now again. I know, obviously, the... Like they don't go at, what was the comment? Like they don't go after brown people or something like that. Like no, they they literally don't. Like it, do these people? Do they n willfully ignore like these stories that comes out from the UK? Like Rotherham and these rape gangs and like what was it? The latest tally was like fifteen thousand uh, young British girls. Of course, the situation in in Sweden as well. But the fact is that these people just. They refuse to, <laughs> to recognize that this is an issue. It's unbelievable, you know. And, and I still don't know have they successfully maneuvered outside of that reality, and they just they they maybe they saw a little bit of it, but they just dismiss it that this is some kind of racist propaganda or something, or do they truly just they know about it, but they just they they lie intentionally lie. I don't know which yet, uh, but this is as dis disingenuous as you can get uh, with the situation. Despicable, disgusting. Cooper says we can see Ram Ranch and 40 ounce bounce on your monitors for your information. That's not true, but thank you. Based Nibba says you don't have to rape them, just grab them by the P. I disavow any of those type of comments. Um, now, uh, again, we played that video. There's, there's quite a few here. Let me see. Let me. Okay, so let's play the second video on that. Uh, it's very it's short. Right it, yeah. yeah, it's right below it. Let's play it right now. Right now, a huge number, like this is true, a huge number of cities all across the United Kingdom and France are having their culture completely changed by the influx of Muslim, like North African, Turkish, and what have you, immigrants. And that's fine. That's fine, according to him, Henrik. Did you hear that quote, or...? Oh, that's fine. Oh, let me pause. I was a bit late there. Yeah, okay, this... well, what 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 does he say after that? No, <laughs> wait, that's it. Well, I don't know. Matter? I mean, it's out of con I don't know. I don't know the context. He just said that's fine. I mean, that's, that's fine. Uh... Yeah, that's how it's supposed to. Well, do you know why it's fine? Do you know why a guy like that thinks it's fine? Because his mission is to destabilize and destroy the West. They get a kick out of this. These are this is the communist Antifa takeover. They're using, as I said <laughs> before, they're using. Non-white people, people from the third world, this includes Muslims, Sub-Saharan Africans, North uh, uh, Middle Easterners, and stuff like that too, right? Oh. To 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 destroy, uh, to destroy the West, to destroy racist European societies, right? And they get a kick out of this, and they think it's right, and and because it's good to them, because their agenda is is uh, forwarded in this capacity, so they they do not see a problem with this. I, I'm actually uh, was it Carl Carl Benjamin. Um, uh, Sargon actually had a he, had a, he, he cornered him on this issue, right? It was pretty good. He said, if you, let, let's just switch the groups, right? And so see if you would recognize that this would be a problem. He said, if you would have a something like this, he said, a thousand Nazis move into your town or something like that, he said, would you oppose to them like being there and changing your way of life? Would you, would you understand that there would be worries about that? And he just basically wormed out of the situation. <laughs> so I forget exactly his answer, but it was just like, well, that doesn't matter. I, I believe in multiculturalism and that's going to be great. But, and, and he actually he was good on this organ. He was like, yeah, but do you understand? Like if, if it was a group that you didn't like, what, what would you do then? Would you try to oppose it? Would you change it? Would you, you know, what would you do? And he just didn't answer. Uh, these people are disingenuous because th this is their mission. This is what they want. By the way, here's a it's another... like I've always liked to say of uh, Bosch, it, Bosch, and all the people like him. Um, you know, they're not they're not honest. You know, they are bad faith actors, and so they're going to make bad faith arguments. 
Yeah, and he isn't that his like telltale kind of. He always talks about that. Like, I won't speak to this person because they're a bad, they're a bad actor or something, right? I hear him say that. I mean, I haven't listened to the guy that much, but the few times I've, I've done it, he always mentions that. Like, well, these are these are not good, you know, good people, and that he does it. He's just projection. He does it upon everybody. Exactly. Else. Like but putting a a swastika behind Lana when he does a, a, a video about red eyes. Like, oh, that's that's really that's a good faith uh, and a, a good faith actor right there, right? <laughs> it's just like he's a piece of shit. Yeah, and you know what? I've said this on air to you and to Lana before. I don't know. Whenever I see unfair uh, maligning of you or her, like it kind of really pisses me off because um, <laughs> I don't know. You guys are really nice. That doesn't mean you have to agree uh, with everything you say. And you can definitely say bad things about, you know, your ideology or whatever. I feel like that's fair game. Of course, that's fair game. Uh, but when people try to attack you personally and, you know, Nazi this and, you know, try to ruin well, your life, I don't have respect for the life ruination. I will say that, um, you know, uh, if somebody goes at you at that level, I don't um, I, I don't disavow responding in the same manner. Let's put it that way. <laughs> you're, a, uh, you're, a, you're a gloves off kind yeah, of guy. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. If they come at you, they come at you. But that's not something that i partake in uh naturally uh that, that's yeah, I mean, just yeah. not what it's about right for me at least. yeah i mean and i don't do, i mean i don't initiate those kinds of things either very very rarely <laughs> like start the, something oh, like that oh it can and, happen oh it can happen don't get me wrong but it's it's at their their choosing anyway go ahead right right well i mean also i just gotta say that it's like it you so rarely is it actually about addressing the actual points that we raise and the stuff that we talk about and the concerns that we have. And it's just like this, well, this is just ridiculous on the face of it because this is racism or Nazism or stuff like that. You, know, you play the, the cringy Hollywood movie there, right? Or the the, the plug, their, their, their black and white video. That's the tell that you know that it's serious and they mean business. It's when they do those yeah. black and white uh, <laughs> kind of videos. But they, And they said it's in there like... We oppose hatred and we have to do something as like I completely agree. Let's we talk about this all the time. We talk about the open hatred against people of European descent, against white people. The the open season on people uh, that are white. We've seen it's now. There, in the Henry, you can't it's not a conspiracy theory at this point. If no, you ever no. thought it was, you have to be a moron to just not see it and to not see how demonized. And again, I'm not, look, I, don't, I haven't made my bones being a huge white activist. Let's be real. Uh, now, we've had a lot of people like that on the show, uh, but you, you have to be moronic not to see those people being demonized while at the same time, you know, black nationalists, uh, other racial advocates for their own race are being lifted up and promoted by the mainstream media. How is that not, you know, how is that equi equitable? I don't understand. No, and, and it's never about being sincere about these kinds of issues. It's always uh, underhanded, subversive tactics. It's a uh, sleight of hand. They just, uh, uh, you know, pretend that they, you know, again, on the face of it, that these things that you, you know, that we raise and that we talk about are just, that's just dumb and, and irresponsible and it's hateful and racist and all that kind of stuff. But it's like, we truly do not hate other people for being a different really skin don't. color or from a different ethnicity. Like, I don't care about that. I, I know I have friends like, I have, I have had some friends like that. I've had people around me like I, I don't hate anybody just because of who they are but that's what they have to project upon us to dismiss us dismiss our uh, our, our positions dismiss our concerns and dismiss uh you know the the what i think are valid arguments that we come with um they have to dumb it down in order to well it's it's basically a dehumanizing process right they they yes if they can dehumanize you then they have the right it's the same thing as why why do people call you a nazi well, they it's call to you Nazi invalidate because, you, yeah, and to, right. to and get you banned off MasterCard and PayPal and right. Patreon, and it's to silence you and to make so they're doing the same. Ex so from the other side, someone like a Valsh or whoever, they're making their content, they're putting their stuff out there. Um, when they go to that level, it's to silence you. It's to make you go away so that they... Uh, have made you see the field of battle. Basically, they they made it to where you can't do what you do anymore, and they can, and that's the whole goal. Right, and again, the the term is being used because uh, it because of course that what that means that they, inside of the culture right now is that there is a open season, right on on. 
and and again, it does perceived, uh, accused, or actually, you know, self avowed national socialists or whatever, right? But that's irrelevant to them. They just they're the judge and the executioner. They just throw out the term and then that that's so. And it is like you know, right. you know, you can't defend yourself again. And again, I don't. I, I mean, let's be honest. I don't care about it. I don't. I'm. I don't give a shit if people call me that. It's just also well, it's to you put know, you on defense. I just saw somebody in chat say that. So when I talked right. to Vals, the first thing he starts saying was, "Oh, you're a Nazi. Why are you Nazi? Just, yeah, just admit you're a Nazi." <laughs> it's like, nah, dude, I'm not a Nazi. But the the correct game is to not even play that. You know what? No, fuck right, that. right. It doesn't matter. But yeah. but it. What I'm saying is, it's done for, for a very specific sure, person, uh, exactly. reason, and that's yeah. to that's to dehumanize you and and is to open you up to violence, deplatforming. As you said, being kicked off of everyone. Are these people banned? Are these people? I, I literally heard, and I, I forget the name of the video, but it's like, uh, should we be nice or something like that? Was the video that uh, Vouch did is one of the few that I've, I've saw parts of, and he was like openly saying that it's ridiculous to to perceive that we should be peaceful. It was basically advocating for violence. This he guy. did that something, on the show that, that we, I was on. Like, I mean, right. he literally. Yeah, I mean, imagine yeah. if me or you had done something like that. Uh, ex exactly. By the way, that's right. not my philosophy. I don't just say that to dog whistle or whatever. I wouldn't advocate for that. But imagine if I did. I mean, it would be over. Right, exactly right uh and you know they could uh, in some countries you're uh, you, you're convicted on on ac accusations even <laughs> you know it's just yeah. like and, and they're building your profile with the aid of media uh you know even police and stuff use like local reporting and certain things uh, to build their profiles and cases some people i was very upset when i <laughs> realized that it was like holy shit the cops actually like you you know use some you know local papers and stuff about accusations to build profiles on people and that's scary because like where is your how do you defend yourself against the defamation? And, and and it's like one thing if it's just an opinion piece and someone says it about you, but when it becomes established reality uh, of sorts, uh, where they base now, where like companies and services and stuff, they base uh, their d decision making on these kinds of defamatory lies. Well, they're trying and, to and build a catalog it. against you. Like that's the whole goal. Um, you know, all these pieces, Jared Holt, all these networks, Will Summer, you mentioned him, uh, yeah. Zadronsky or whatever her name is with NBC, all these people, their entire beat relevant. is to deplatform. Like that's literally, yeah. um, Charlie Weitzel or whatever the fuck his name is. He got hired by the New York times. He's on the same exact beat. All these people, uh, their whole goal is to just deplatform, literally. Uh, and there's so many of them, right? It's from from yeah. MSNBC to Vice to HuffPoop to uh, Vox, you know, to all these outlets, right? All these outlets, and and ironically, also a lot of them are, are the outlets that have been struggling the last few years too. They're actually True. we're actually we're out compete collectively speaking. We oh been yeah, we're doing way better. People. They're they're worried. They're literally worried. They they just like this is propaganda. This is horrific. Then and and we. Every time, and, and we can make videos where we literally just show headlines, what they, you know, mainstream reporting and stuff. And it's not always that, you know, you can believe all that stuff. But what I'm saying is we can use the arguments that they make in sources that they claim are trusted and paint a picture that validates our, our view. And then they say, oh, these are just sensationalist headlines. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> okay, well, so. the bottom line is we're more entertaining than they are. I mean, that's the that's the fact. Uh, Pyrus777 yeah. says, better movie, Heat or Seven? Heat for me. Uh, Heat is one of the greatest movies mm. of all time, actually. Uh, Val Kilmer, um, Pacino, De Niro, John Voight is in there as well. Oh, it's a classic. I do like Seven a lot, though. What do, what do you say, Henrik? Yeah, it's actually a tough call. I remember, I, I think the f compared to how I first, uh, when I first saw the movies, obviously Seven had a bigger impact on me. Uh, but I like Heat as well, actually. I remember if you watching can't many drop times everything you love in 15 minutes when you feel that heat, that's <laughs> that's the motto. You, you have to be ready, Henrik, 15 minutes. <laughs> that's all you have in th those 15 minutes. Don't. Don't let's God. I want to watch Heat again. Holy <laughs> shit! What a classic. What, what, what year was that? Like ninety six or something. It was like ninety five, ninety six. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right in the middle of the decade. Oh, what a classic. Uh, we should do a commentary a track. Decade. Has anybody in our sector done a uh, commentary track for Heat? Oh man, <laughs> that, that's a classic. Uh, I have to rewatch it. It was a long time ago since I saw yeah. it. Actually, yeah. Seven yeah. is pretty good too. What's in the box? Oh, sorry. Cuber okay. says, uh, we oh, I already read that. Where am I at here? Uh, sorry, just started listening. Ask Henrik why he's a knots. I guess uh, <laughs> <Why not? laughs> I guess I don't know. Uh because Mick it's fun to trigger the left. 
Why is he zoning the libs? <laughs> Mick says, what's up, my guy? Love both your shows. That's cool. Thank you. Uh, BG Thank White you. says, now they memory whole history and have new speak. Megu Meme says, what happened to Frame Games Radio? Was he sunsetted? Um, I don't know where Frame Games is, to be quite honest with you. Uh, and I, I have not heard from him in like two years. We never even got him on the show, Gator. We were close to that, but uh, it just didn't happen. Uh, also, we're up on Entropy. Uh, shout out to the Chill Stream crowd. We're going to take some calls. What do you think about taking some calls, Henry? Sounds good. Sounds good with you. Okay. Hey, uh, why should, I wanted to ask, ask you something too, though, Ralph, I, I, because sure. I saw so many things from Richmond. I wanted to, uh, uh, one of the latest ones I saw was uh, Jefferson Davis uh, monument but being torn down and stuff like that. What, what do you feel when you see this stuff? Well, I mean, you know, I'm on record saying I think that's despicable, uh, tearing down those monuments and moving them. And they're quite beautiful, too, uh, when you walk past them or take pictures of them. Now, I'm not going to go out there and, <laughs> you know, get stabbed over them. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah, uh, it is disgraceful. I've said that on this show. Uh, when I first came here, uh, one of the first things that strikes you uh, is, well, was, used to be anyway, uh, driving down Monument Avenue, seeing Stonewall Jackson, Robert E. Lee, the massive uh, Jefferson Davis Memorial there as well. Um, I have a lot of pictures and stuff of that. Um, I guess that's all all it will be, Henrik, uh, here, here but, pretty soon. But yeah, Exactly. I mean, again, these people will not stop, right? It will not stop. It will just continue. It will be next monument, next street, ne next uh, uh, hall, next library. Everything will be renamed, torn down, uh, uprooted. This is, uh, you know, I said, talked about this the other day, but it's like the, the, this is the, the new man, right? This was sort of <laughs> one of the communist objectives is to literally create a new type of, of human, which is a... A rootless human, a, a, a ethnically ambiguous uh, human. There's there's no allegiances to anything. It's just allegiance to, I guess, to the I ideals or uh, to the state or, or something like that. Uh, Stalin was really huge into this stuff, right? Building the new man, right? It was very important. Um, and uh, of course, that's what that's what we're moving uh, towards. If you have a a people who's rooted in heritage and and history, they know where they ca came from. They have. Uh, connections to those things they have a uh, pride in that they feel you know good having that identity and stuff that stands in the way of creating a globalized world where where everybody's uh, just the same and 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 a ruthless uh, individual so that's why they're attacking also primarily i think white people and west the western world right now because you know we're one of the big obstacles uh standing in the way of this um you, you know what? i remember you had me on your on your show i think it was lana actually um in august 2016 right before a certain event i won't go into um and i i remember some people saying wow ralph you went on red ice like you know what's your problem um <laughs> you know like what are you an extremist um i i don't really feel uh and again it's not co-signing look you don't co-sign everything i say i don't co-sign everything you say uh, but to act like it's not an issue that whites have a real uh, problem advocating for themselves without being called racist. I, I, I mean, that's obvious to say, and they've tried to malign you uh, and your family and your wife uh, for that. Uh, so yeah. I don't know. Yeah, definitely. No, I mean, it's true. It's the, we, we point out the double standards, the hypocrisy, the, uh, the the open, as I said before, the open uh, discrimination. Of that was four years ago, by the way. That was right. four yeah. years ago. And people yeah. are like, oh, red ice, wow, they're so you know, they're so wild. It's not as wild uh, as and, you think anymore. Anymore, yeah, right? Well, right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. that's my point. Have we been? Have we? I mean, we're the banned ones now, right? We've been banned, virtually kicked off of of, of most uh, uh, major platforms, at least. Uh, but I feel we've been vindicated. I, I feel that the I things that too. we talked about. There's a lot of people that are now seeing <laughs> many of those things that we talked about, and it's and and I don't think that majority of people uh, of white people people of European descent will will accept that if they if they knew what is coming down the pipeline, I think the majority of them would disagree, and that's why it's so dangerous to have people like us there because I think at least we're we're reasonable, we're not just completely uh, and and it's no criticism of others, but this is just our style. We we're not you know completely out there. We're just we're trying to be sensible and reasonable about this stuff and and just normal and 
and cool about this. You guys you know, are by the book. You're decent. You know, you might make a, you know, a little bit of an edgy joke here or there, but you're mostly right. family friendly. Of course, we have a different style, but basically they fucked up by letting you in. They fucked up by letting us in. They didn't realize what they were quite unleashing with the internet and Pandora's box. And they've been desperately the last four or five years, the whole story of the last four or five years, especially, I hate to mention Gamergate, but um you know since then is to try to put this back in the box somehow some way the media fighting the tech giants the tech giants of course are predisposed to wanting to make money that's why youtube didn't crack down for the longest uh but when they catch enough heat they will crack down because they're all going to the same dinner parties they're all part of the same ruling elite they all go to the same send their kids to the same schools henrik you know what i mean yeah, uh yeah. when it comes down to it they're going to side with each other uh, and the the whole story of the last half decade is them desperately trying to put people uh, like you, like me, like many, many others uh, back into the box, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we were there to, uh, I mean, if we would have been let loose unfettered, I mean, what, what, what kind of audiences would we have today? Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think, yeah. I think that's a fair question. We would have grown bigger. The algorithm would have picked us up and promoted us even more, which means we would have awakened more people. We would have made more people see and realize. And these people know that. I mean, these people, <laughs> yeah. we're talking about like the higher ups, these are people that run like, you know, supercomputer simulators to like see, you know, how do we predict the future? What do we do to, to, to like to win this, you know, game theory and all this kind of stuff? Like they, they, they work on this day and night kind of stuff. And, and they know that like we, well, we have to silence the voices out there that are, uh, preventing us from following through in this in this concept of this glorious new global globalized world that they're building for us here and the, the prison planet and by the uh, way and they so, siloed yeah. us off they didn't completely shut us off that's another thing so they can say oh well you know they still have their shows and da, 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 da. uh but you know i i feel i mean you would be crazy to think the final silencing or the attempted you know real silencing is not going to come because uh, I'm fully confident that it is going to come. I hope that that's not the case. But uh, Pyrus seven seven, you know, I mean, it, it is though. Uh, Pyrus seven 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 says, "Music, corn or offspring?" Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'll pick that. Maybe corn. What What would you say? I'm, I'm uh, no, no, not big for either. Actually. All right. Uh, let's see. BG <laughs> Sorry, Chris. BG White says, "Remember when they were quoting 1984 at Trump?" Then he says, now they memory hole history and have news speak. Uh, okay, I read those, I think. Uh, just kidding. Bibble is the... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, Lord Zenu WT Law says, weird. Bibble isn't here while the Nazi is here. Just kidding. Bibble is the real, <laughs> is the real Nazi. Uh, Lord Aragon 2019 says, South got to rise again. Space Cowboy 14 says, Red Ice were the ones who woke me up. Thank you. Philosopher gifted a one month subscription. Pyrus 777 with the ice cream. Daredevil is advocate says the content on red ice is some of the best. It actually is. And they gifted me like a 40 year subscription when I, when I guess I've told this story before, but they <laughs> gifted me a subscription. So I have access to, to the red ice content. Very kind. Uh, All our guests them. do. Yeah. Very, very kind. I was like, oh, wait, what's this? Are you serious? Yeah, they were serious. Um, so <laughs> that was pretty cool of you. Thank you. Uh, and Lana was the one who sent it to me, so shout out to her. We have to get her back on soon, too. Uh, the the whiteys, uh The Whitey <laughs> just received a one-month subscription from Philosopher Pyrus 777 uh, asked that question uh, about the music. Uh, another subscription received from Philosopher uh, and he also gifted another one too. So that's two or three. He's gifted, uh, book him Dano with the diamond. Uh, didn't say anything, but thank you. In's mouth. Look says, does Henrik have any fun? Patrick Casey stories. Uh, interesting. Uh, fun Patrick Casey stories. Uh, yeah. I mean, he worked for us, uh, for, for a few years. He was a contributor. He was doing videos for a while. Uh, I forget what year he joined, uh, and he was doing some article stuff in the beginning, and then he kind of, well, we kind of, uh, we kind of developed him to do videos and, and and stuff like that, get into. But any funny? Not really. Sorry, it's just uh, it was very. What about the cut old. of his jib? What do you think about him? The the what now? The cut of his jib. 
that's oh uh, no, I think it's, yeah, he's very uh, he's very he's he's down to earth. He's again v very uh, well mannered, rational, reasonable. I love to work with him. He's very professional and stuff like that. So you know, it's just uh, it's been a great asset. So we were sad to see him see him go, but we we uh, we parted ways on, on on good terms. And of course, he does uh, the American uh, American Identity Movement full time right now and stuff like that. But no, Patrick is great. Uh, have no, no nothing nothing bad to say about the guy. He's, he's a great guy. All right, uh, let's keep going. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Kiefer says, much in Pandora's box, and she's a squirter, yes. Uh, Grimmer Remover says, I travel for work, but this blood is Southern. Uh, Mick says, uh, love y'all, man. Uh, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Uh, entropy's up as well. I'm checking the others. Mostly D-Live love tonight, uh, which is just fine. Uh, D Live, we've been steady here on D Live for pretty much a year. Uh, so shout out to D Live TV uh, and D Live TV slash the Ralph Retort, of course. All right, let's take another caller. Actually, Gator, do you have any questions? Hold on, I'm trying to fix my poster. It keeps falling off my wall here. All right, let me bring in the let me bring in the villain. I guess while you're fixing that, go ahead, Bronx. 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 I I can't hear him. Hey, my my old my old friend Henry. Yes, yes. Go ahead. What's up, Tommy? He's back. He's back. Now wait, Henry. Bronx. Now Bronx. Let's keep it civil. Can we keep it civil? I know. Please? I know. I don't I want know. it to get vitriolic. No, be, be seriously, man. Let's. Okay. 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 I'm gonna try. Henrik, do me a favor. Describe to me how you would label your politics, since you seem to be uh, chafed by certain labels. How would you label your politics? Maybe like my grandpa's, my grandfather's. No, no, your your politics. If somebody asks you, uh, Henrik, what it, what are your politics? Because obviously. People call your not your politics Nazism. How would you classify your politics? Well, I mean, I don't see myself as a uh, you know like a social democrat or a conservative or anything like that. Uh, I try to just take a rational position, case by case issue, uh, whatever comes. I don't I don't put myself in a political box and an allegiance to a party. Whatever's beneficial mm -hmm. and okay for our people is something I'm down on. You know, it doesn't matter. It, it can be. I like some of the politics of uh, some of the social democratic stuff in Sweden, and then I hate some of it. I like some of the moderate party stuff. Uh, it's kind of open-ended, actually. Are you a third positionist? Not really. And I see, I don't keep up with the labels or like trying to, you know, I, I don't even know all the ins and outs of that kind of stuff. Now, what it's do you like, mean by third positionist, Bronx? Since you're bringing that up, we talked about it on the show I mean, before. But I mean, you mean an overthrow of democracy? No, well, tell us. Tell us what you mean. That, that's. That's Tell an established uh, political position that, that is fascism adjacent. It's just, you know, look, I, I have contributed a significant amount of my life to, to researching this stuff. And I've obviously spent years watching Henry's content. And, Why you know, like to, to, to spend, <laughs> excuse me? He knows. Why do you like it? I've made a lot of content about your content. You know that. Come on. I haven't seen any of that, actually. Your content is actually very important to me. I made a lot of YouTube videos. I've well, done wait. some work. Oh, okay. I, I got to check it out. Sorry, I'm, I've totally missed that. I don't keep up with the uh, the critics. Well, just tell us what you said. What, what's your what's your issue here? Well, it's it's incomprehensible to me after having watched, like, what is it? You've been around for four years, six years, something like that. That many hours well, of your content no. for you to go, like, I don't. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say he's been around a lot longer than that, actually. But, uh, but yeah. Go well, ahead. in terms of in my, terms my, of my point is my point is my point is Bronx nomenclature doesn't uh, okay. I don't I don't care about that. If if there's if there's beneficial aspects to advancing the kind of uh, injustices which I cover, then I'm willing to go along with that, and that's a good idea. And we we line up with that for a moment, and then we. If something falls out or fails, we jump on another thing. It, it's not—I'm not, I'm not uh, pigeonholed to a specific political ideology. That—that's what I'm trying to say. Have you had? Okay, so do you do you think that people who have consumed your content, outsiders like me, 
who see the content that you made about Hitler to see, and see the content that you made about the Holocaust. Why are you confounded by us asserting that label on you, considering your right. positions on those subjects? Well, uh, be specific. Which which content? Uh, be specific. Mention it. Come on, brother. Wait a minute now. Come on. I'm trying to be polite and respectful to you. No, no, but, I know, but I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I, because I want, I want, Rox, I, want I literally you to don't know what he's talking about either. But, I, I want you to okay. be specific. Okay, okay. so fact apparently I've watched much, more hey, of your hang on, content hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. than Ralph. Hang on, buddy. So many accusations are flying around about what what I believe or what the positions are. I want to make sure that you actually know the things that we have covered versus the rumors and the accusations. So give me some specific okay. examples. A you show, have made a position. What? Significant. I mean, you want me to go to the Kevin Strom interview? Do you want me to, like sure. which Holocaust yeah, now you sure. want me to take Kevin McDonald? Which one? Because Kevin Strom's a convicted pedophile. I don't know why that didn't bother you, but that's okay. Yeah, well, there's uh, people who uh, have d have different opinions about that and the fact that he was framed for it. Okay, but Kevin Strom confessed to being a pedophile. He pled guilty. He wasn't framed. He pled guilty to being a pedophile. Well, we and know him in regards to that they, they, the for they force people to confess to things because otherwise they would put them in jail for life. There are plea deals that people do. It doesn't necessarily... I, I have no, no interest in defending the guy. I don't know much about him. I had him on the show because he has some interesting things to say. That's about it. Doesn't mean and I'm no, a fucking wait, pedophile. Did, yeah, <laughs> did Hendrick, <laughs> did he plead to pedophilia? I don't yes. know. Yes. Henrik, Henrik, no, no, not on pedophilia. Not on pedophilia. I'm going to give Henrik that one thing. He's not, he's not oh, pro-pedophilia. That's clear. <laughs> I'm going to give him that one thing. It's clear right, that Henrik right, is not pro-pedophilia. All right, all right. Congratulations, Brock's just... sir. Are, are you? <laughs> no, absolutely not. But I'm just saying, like, why, why, why would you have these people on? And again, Ethan is, is fairly neutral when he has these people on, but you you assert support for the idea that the Holocaust is some kind of uh, canard and that um, it's used to um, uh, shield uh, Jewish people from criticism. Like, it, it, it's not like you have them on and then go, oh, no, I disavow. I just want to I just want to hear what you have to say. Because you know let, I mean? I'm just asking I, you. I'll, I'll yeah. explain this. All right, I'll let him, let him speak. I'll go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can get that perspective and position on virtually every other media outlet. One of the first reasons why I even began talking about it was because people told me I cannot talk about it. The fact that people said these people are off limits, you're not allowed to hear this, this is criminal in some countries, was actually the initial incentive for me to actually talk about it. I said, fuck you, you're not going to tell me what I can talk about and can't talk about on my show. I know nothing about it. I don't claim to be an expert on it. But I've invited people that uh, that know far more than I do on the subject. And why not? Why should we not be able to discuss it? That That's my position. I just, I don't All know right. what happened. I'm not, uh, I, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's sh you know, sh muddy the waters about the, the wartime propaganda around this thing. Obviously, anybody who has a brain can understand that. It's as much propaganda from so the you, other side you as, fully, the, as the opposite you fully side, obviously. Disavow. So you fully disavow uh, Adolf Hitler and Mein Kampf and all that. See, this is what this no is what way. it always goes to. It's always this like, what yeah. you know, your position. It's it's totally irrelevant. It's totally irrelevant. It's irrelevant how you feel no, about Adolf Hitler. What, 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 what do you, you talk, disavow? To the things we talk though, about today, yes. Bronx. That's the thing. Like, what do you disavow? I disavow plenty of stuff. I disavow Stalin. I disavow Lenin. I disavow Mao. I disavow a bunch of communist atrocities. Stuff. It's freedom. just like. Look, you know, uh, again, I've contributed a significant amount of time to this, and it's just kind of like, it's weird when people are like, oh, why are you calling but me you know a Nazi, bro? Let, like, let, mention to me, when, when was the last time that I spoke about my support, if this is your your assertion, your accusation, my support for Adolf Hitler and the, and that Holocaust was a good thing, or whatever the fuck you think I, I, I believe. Well, you haven't, when, you when, haven't, when you was haven't that, spelled when, it out. You haven't spelled that? it out every time, but, well, you've done, on Holocaust Remembrance Day, you've done interviews with people that are Holocaust deniers and talked about how silly it is. And now, wait, Holocaust wait, let me ask you this, Bronx. Do we need yeah, 15, so? wait, I want to ask this. Bronx, do we need 15 Holocaust Remembrance Days? I mean, seriously, let's be real. I, I mean, don't, I, again, isn't that different Does that affect my everyday life, it? or is that used as a political weapon to influence American policy? I think me and you both know oh, the I answer mean, again, to that. I think if you took off your bullshit hat, you would fucking admit what the answer to that question is. This is used as a political cudgel. You know that's true. Yes, it is. You yes, know that's, that's true. Just say like yes. Yahoo. Hold on. Just because someone like Netanyahu or somebody exploits the Holocaust for sympathy does not mean that 
we shouldn't be accurate about what actually happened. Because okay, one fucking day. I mean, you know what? I don't, I don't how, really how care. Do you, how, do you, how can you be accurate <laughs> if you don't hear uh, the opposite side or, or a different side of the argument? Dude, just give them the number. Who cares? One day. No why, do, why do there's we no need 15 fucking days? Of course there's an argument about There's oh, argument man. about every single historical we, event, everything that's ever happened. This is what I'm talking. The fact that this is brought up as an issue is the very proof that we need that it's being used as a weapon because you're calling in because you want to well, nail me on us, something or or corner me on something. No, no, actually, I'm trying I'm to be very right. generous as a favor to Ethan Brock. I'm trying to be very generous. No, listen. Be really, no, really, you know what, really Brock? He's been yeah, okay. I've been be spoken about that in years. I, I uh. suck. I did. I don't care. So, I'm not living in 1948. One or 45 or 39 is <sighs> nothing to do with what's happening today. And I, I've. You know, it was it was fun to, to listen to it and hear a different side of the story. But uh, so so what? No one's going to tell me what I can talk about on my show. No, I'm not trying to tell you. I'm just saying that it's very strange to me that you are somehow. Bronx, upset by don't get on here and act perfect. like you're the ADL fucking advocate. You're hard <laughs> against Israel. You've admitted that on this of show. Course. Don't fucking but lie. Right -wing. Don't say, yeah, no right shit. Wing. And that's what we said on this show a million times. So don't try state. to position yourself as different from everything else you know that, else that I have said on this show. State? Yeah, you know what? I don't give a fuck. You know All I know is you're trying to position state? like Yitzhak Rabin, and that's not your fucking position. Anyway, I'm clean, buddy. I'm BDS. Okay. I'm yeah. I'm Thank Come you, on. Bronx. You're getting me worked up now. That's, I don't appreciate it that, anymore. Thank you all so right. much, sir. The one. It Remember what like, I said about it's, it's like it's, two I, or three issues that can actually get me yeah, activated. It's, and it was yeah. the same thing last time he called in, and it's always the same thing. It's like I recommended, like, what was it? Uh, we had uh, Dennis Weiss on the show. Uh, the greatest story never told and stuff. And I thought there was a, it was a, a great dog. He told a story which I've never heard before. And I was like, this is, this is cool because we can't hear this anywhere else, right? So wh why, why is this the very thing, right? They're acting like this is written in stone and settled and there is no disputing any of, I'm not talking about the nuances now, not even the big picture, but like this thing over here, that what happens or the history here or stuff like to, to have a perception that we're not, dealing with a portion at a certain uh, historical time period which is probably more propaganda than everything else is just disingenuous right they, they they come into the picture with a you know a a preset understanding of what happened and my understanding was no, we don't know what happened. And we've probably been lied to about look, most things that we I hear look, specifically I'm gonna, about. I'm, I'm gonna period. tell you my position. I've said this on air. I don't care. Just whatever. I'm not interested in arguing about the numbers on the Holocaust. I don't care. Pretty sure the Germans were wanted to kill a lot of Jews. I, I don't I'm not really interested in arguing about it. It's just not, you know, it doesn't affect right. me. Right. The other thing that doesn't affect me is I don't care if they, you know, however many millions they killed. That was years and years ago. There's been genocides throughout history. I don't think that should affect the foreign policy of my nation insofar as that doesn't benefit my nation. Now, if it benefits my nation, of course, you know, we do what we can. That's, that's what uh, geopolitics is all about. Uh, otherwise, I don't give a fuck. And I definitely don't need 15 fucking Holocaust Remembrance Days. Okay, we get it. I saw Schindler's List. I saw this shit. We got it when I was young. Just stop. Okay? Does is that why sound leftists, crazy? Yeah, fuck why that. leftists care so much? Um, you know, when we did the heel stream. It was AIU that brought up the uh, the Holocaster stuff. Like he yeah, was look, the one that went in there. Wanna, Bronx brings it up every fucking time he comes on the show. He goes to the same thing. Why do why are leftists this obsessed with it? You know, no, maybe there's so. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, they, they seem really Schindler's obsessed list. with it. Schindler's list got to pop out of the chat. That was a joke. <laughs> I'm just saying, whatever. Look. It doesn't. You, you're not winning. Real. Yeah, you're not. You're not winning. In my opinion, this is my opinion. You're not. If what you're quibbling about the numbers of the Holocaust, stop. No, don't do that. That's my opinion. And it doesn't they matter want to if get it you was caught into the weeds. That's it what it is. They, they it's want just, to get you to argue the minutia. Oh yeah, or argue about the numbers of the Holocaust. Most people think you're fucking insane. That's just true. And I don't know. I'm just being real. That's my but, take I on mean, it. But boys, the, the fact is, it, it it is, and he recognized that, right? He mentioned that, but he thinks that that idea is ridiculous. But the fact is, it is used as the, not the one and only, but the primary 
a source or story or whatever you want to say uh, uh, for why white people should not be allowed to organize on a level uh, of their That's ethnic what interest, I was right? because, yeah, exactly. it, because it always leads yeah. to the Holocaust. And therefore, the, this it, it, it opens up this justification for them to basically uh, shackle us and, and, and lock us up or, or, or drug us so we change our minds or use some kind of, uh, you know, electromagnetic field on our neurons or we, you know, so, so our bias disappears or something. It's being, it's used a as a bull, right? cannon. It's, a, it's, <laughs> it's, it's used as a hammer <laughs> and a stickle against, uh, you know, against our ability uh, to push back and fight back. And they, and they the know way. that. And so that's why they're using it as a weapon because to, so far it's been effective. And, and so my incentive in covering those things have been to just drop all these things because the point is you are being lied to. You, we might never know the, the, the complete of all these things, but bro, like, <sighs> drop it. I like, don't know. know that there's a different side to the story. Pretty sure the Germans drop. took out some Jews. And there is different sides. And I'm, look, not, say, I'm, I'm not saying that didn't happen either. Yeah, but, it's like, but, I, but, but the point is yeah, it's like, exactly. you know. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Go no, ahead. no, no. The, the the point is, it, it's, and it's and it's and it's not about that. It, it's, it's irrelevant not. what happened uh, in, in 1940, 70 years ago, seventy five years ago, uh, for for us to to prevent us from organizing on a level which makes sure that we can ensure that we continue to exist as a people. That uh, we have a an elite and an establishment that is trying to replace us in our own countries, and they're using this event from 75 years ago as an excuse to do it. That's bullshit. It has nothing, it has, obviously there is nothing just stands on its own. It has, you know, By something way, has, has to do with it. That's what I just said. A couple of people hating in chat. That's what I just said. It doesn't matter what the number was. 70 years ago, an event that happened has no effect on me. Like, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, and the fact that they're able to organize around that and I'm not able to say, hey, you know what? That doesn't have anything to do with me. Oh, wait, you're an anti-Semite. No, I'm just saying that it literally has nothing to do with me. That doesn't make me an anti-Semite. That just makes me uh, completely logical. Uh, if you if you would ask me, uh, go ahead, Hendrik. I'll, I'll let you. Well, I mean. Up. Sure, but it's like it's and it's all it's always the same thing, and it's like and, and frankly, I get tired of the other side too. Is like just uh, nostalgia about this, and it's like, you know, and it goes on and on about that and the symbols associated with it. And it's like it, it's fine. I get it's like okay, that's that's fine if you want to do that. But it's like our conditions are completely different. We're in a, it's a as a new new world compared to then. Uh, we're living under new circumstances. Everything has changed. It's different. Uh, metapolitical climate, political climate, economic climate, all these things are, are <laughs> of course, the demographic makeups of our country. Everything is different and it's changed. And partially, of course, because of that event, which is why it's important we have to uh, have the ability look, to talk about it. But this guy, by the way, let, let me I, just say this. wait, wait, wait. This, I want to say this. Hold okay. on. Yeah. Some people in chat said you should have the ability to say whatever the fuck you want. That's not exactly. what I'm saying. That's I'm talking about from a rhetorical you know, standpoint, convincing people. I, you, you should be able to say whatever the fuck you want. Don't misinterpret anything I've said here. I completely think you should be able to say any of that. Uh, I just don't, uh, you know, I've, I've stated yeah. my other reason. I, I don't think it should be illegal, you know, to say whatever you want. But yeah, go ahead. Well, this is the thing, and it was raised again. That's why I'm calling in, and it's the same thing as like it's just a repeat of last time. What a Holocaust and the Nazis and shit like that, yeah. right? But it's like I, I just tried to corner the guy last time. Well, I mean, it's I, funny I, how it got turned into after. this. By the way, we weren't even talking right. about this uh, exactly. Yeah. But but <laughs> yeah, just let me just, let me just mention this, and then we can move on. The fact is that this dude thinks that it's completely justified that old ladies are sent to jail. For having a different view of history, but see, the, it, this is not what it is to them. It, to them, it's not just a different view on history. This is it's heretical. This is a a cult. It's a religion, and part of their tenets and makeup are things like the Holocaust and uh, and uh, Nazi Germany and all this kind of stuff. These are you know, if you do these things, they justify anything to 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 kill you, to shut you down, to violently beat you down in the street, to attack you, to attack your family, all this kind of stuff, right? While my point of view is like. No, why is why is this off limits? It's, it's it, this is absurd. It's irrational. There's no reason that any. Imagine them putting the clampdowns on a certain specific uh, period during the Roman Empire or something like that. Like you are not allowed to this guy. If you think Nero did something that you know that that we haven't uh, approved of, we will send you to jail. Right? People would be like uh, up in arms about that. They would be like, "What the hell is going on here?" Uh, but this thing has been like isolated as a bubble in history, making it untouchable. And obviously, this has been done because it's it's an it's an effective weapon to them. Um, and so if we can poke holes in it or have enough questions about it where we cause doubt and people say, well, you know what, sure, this could happen or that could have happened. I really don't know. 
but it's one thing is clear is we're not getting the full story, right? If, if, if we now just could even do you, that, do you believe, that'd have been problematic for them. Now, look, <laughs> I have to put my, you know, the host hat on, whatever, the, the neutral hat. They say, Ralph, you never challenge these people. You never <laughs> just ask them flat out. Do you believe that the Germans, <laughs> the Germans uh, systematically uh, try to kill Jews? Well, it depends on who you ask. Again, I'm not an expert. And I've talked with some people who claims it was not. And obviously, there's plenty of people who believe that we have. And and, and that's also the point. It's like, it's one of these things you're not allowed to be uh, agnostic on the issue. We're like, I just, I don't know. I just, I'm not going to take face value uh, what I'm being told about any kind of event. And, and frankly, when there's so much stigma around it uh, that you can't talk about it, can't research it, can't, can't talk with people who have researched it. Uh, obviously something is amiss, right? Obviously something is amiss. It seems okay, not even have, Hitler, even just a, the German regime. Was there? Was it a goal of theirs to lessen the Jewish population? You don't even necessarily I, have to say I, extermination. Again, again, I, I'm not an expert on this time period. I think after what I've looked at and what I've heard, uh, it seems that the primary goal was to get them out of uh, Euro Germany and Europe uh, altogether. That's why I had things like the transfer agreement with uh, Frank, uh, uh, what's his name again? Was it... No, uh, Black something, uh, uh, forget his first name. He wrote a book, uh, which was kind of interesting, called The Transfer Agreement. That's why you can even see commem commemorative coins today. They have a swastika on one side and the Star of David on the other. Uh, they wanted to get it out, and some people have said, and again, I, I'm not saying that this is what happened. I'm just saying some of the things that I've researched and looked into. And that's why some people have said that the, the actually the elites, uh, of the of the of many of the elites of the Jews uh, decided uh, not to follow through on certain aspects of the transfer agreement, and it actually sold out their own people, uh, which is why they, you know, they could have transferred them out earlier out of Germany, but they kind of wanted this. It seems like like some kind of de uh, deal. There's a famous quote, and I forget who did it, but they basically said when the when the nations come together uh, and meet at the um, uh, at the table of negotiations after this war is over, we must be able to show that we've also spilled blood to show that we have a stake in the game kind of thing. There are quotes like that, right? Which shows that it, it looks like portion at least of, of the own Jewish community sold out their own and, and, and put many in this kind of situation. Uh, some people say Operation Reinhardt was, a, was an active kind of, uh, you know, some kind of extermination campaign or something like that. But I mean, look at so, uh, you know, some very interesting is... Um, uh, the the British uh, historian who's done like the the main biography on on Adolf Hitler. I, I I've, again, it's so many years ago since I looked at this. I've forgotten the names and stuff. People, chat knows what is this? What is his name again? Oh, uh, I actually British had guy. to read that. Uh, oh fuck! I can't believe I'm forgetting um, his name. Chat will uh, remind me here. But that guy, I mean, he he has some very interesting things. D uh, David, is it? Uh, what is uh, it? David? I'll, I'll find it if you'll give me just a second. Because Irving, David it. Irving. Yes. That's right, David yeah, Irving. David there we Irving, go. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Two fifty. That's right. I can't believe I'm forgetting. This is how this is how much I've like just. <laughs> I, I don't talk about this anymore because it's like it was fun when I talk about it. It's, it's interesting and stuff, but it's not a primary issue to me. I, I don't. I don't. You know, whatever. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's like. Uh, but David Irving, read some of his stuff and, and get a different view. Get something different. Look at the greatest story never told. Make up your own goddamn mind. Think. D drop all these, you know, whether you're on the pro one side or the other. Uh, just just know that we're not being told the whole truth. And that's why I'm interested in it. Uh, and, and again, at the beginning, it was like, well, you're not allowed to talk about this. Well, fuck you. I'm going to talk about it then. And also, I brought on some guests to talk about it. Also, to be fair, Ian Kershaw is the guy who they had me read. Uh, in college, so I'll I'll just put that out there for for probably a diametric, probably a different. I won't know if it, I don't know if it's diametrically opposed, uh, but Ian Kershaw uh, wrote a lot uh, uh, on that period as well. And then of course, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, the rise and fall of the Third Reich, I believe. Uh, uh, yeah, is that, that what was, it's called? Uh, yeah, of course that was written. I mean, yeah, there was a lot of interesting things on YouTube before they banned all these documentaries, like one third of the Holocaust, and I mean, they raised a lot of, a uh, lot of interesting points, which I don't yeah, know how Kershaw. they how they can counter uh, counter yeah. refuse and stuff about the math and stuff. And again, I, I'm not I'm not an expert. I don't know what the fuck is true. So it's just I've I been love consuming that period a lot of, of history. Stuff, I love you know? that period of history, uh, just flat out. Uh, Kershaw didn't like Brother Irvin. Yeah, I believe that's. That's fair. Uh, I never actually read. I had it bought, but I never read the whole thing of the William uh, Schreier Rise and Fall, the Third Reich. A lot of that, I think, is taken from the New York Times. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, one, one last thing. Uh, someone said sure. to you, you wrote about The Last Battle. That's a good documentary to, to look at. It's on BitChute. I think most of it has gone from uh, from YouTube these days, too. But, you know, the, I, I one I loved, which was uh, the the occult history of the Third Reich. 
very interesting documentary, completely different view. I'm like more the kind of esoteric, uh, kind of behind the scenes stuff with the, uh, with the, uh, with the, 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 the main kind of national socialist guard and stuff like that. Some really fascinating stuff about what, you know, what symbols they use and like, uh, uh, what was that called again? The, um, uh, oh, I forget the name of it. Uh, Jesus was one really interesting place where supposedly some interesting things took place. I, I, again, it's Vevelsburg Castle, right? They went through a lot of that stuff. The yeah. the symbolism there, the the different rooms they have at the Vevelsburg Castle and stuff. I actually visited there once, and you know, th- there's some fascinating stuff out there. But the the point is, they have made it so boring and so dry that you can't even like you know delve into any of these things anymore it's all banned it's all outlawed and stuff like that and i wish that we just we live in a climate where you could ask any question you could talk about anything you could investigate what you want that's 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 what i, I could wish not for, agree but. with that more all the way around groomer remover says i travel for work but this blood is southern uh, mick says love y'all man i think i read some of these bg white says steady for a year minus 24 hours Mick says, fuck this guy. Take my call. Pyrus 777 with the diamond over in the lemon chat. Christopher Waffen says, will red ice cover spiritual slash esoteric stuff again? Yeah, I mean, it's we're still interested in that, obviously. And I'm always fascinated about that. That's how we got started. We wanted to ask, uh, ask the big questions. Who are we? Where did we come from? Where are we going? Why is things where they are? You know, big philosophical stuff. And and I've told the story many times, but it was in around 2010. I started getting into some of my own uh, culture in my own backyard, the the the, the rune stones, the uh, stone ships, the passage graves, the uh, the dolmens and the burial mounds and all that kind of fascinating stuff that was literally in my backyard where I grew up. And that coupled with people like Barbara Spector, who told uh, me that, uh, well, you Europeans must be replaced, otherwise you won't survive, uh, was a shock Was a shock when I came across that kind of stuff. And I just said, this is more important than anything else that we can cover right now. We we have to sort out this situation. We're talking about, about an elite, psychopathic elite that want us gone, right? They want us out of the picture. They're, att- they're seeing us as an enemy, and they've declared us an enemy. And if we don't fight back and wake up and and and, and awaken our people to what it is that's going on, uh, they could very well pull this off. And uh, I refuse to let that happen because this is a crime against humanity. This is uh, this is genocide. Pyrus seven 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 with a ninja guinea says better movie three hundred or Fight Club. What do you say, Henrik? I say oh, Fight that's Club. Oh, that's a that's a hard one. Yeah, I mean Fight Club was a that was a huge. Uh, I don't know. Three hundred is awesome movie. too. I guess three hundred is very good too. But I. Oh. Whew, Ah, uh, inspirational 300 for sure. Uh, yeah, I, you know, as an inspiration, uh, just beautifully aesthetically, you know, the, the Spartan period and stuff. I, yeah. I, I really like it, uh, obviously. But um, Fight Club was was kind of a big, uh, kind of a wake up call. I think I saw Fight that in Club is like a strike against the whole, you know, setup, uh, in my opinion, like a strike against modern not to oversell it maybe but uh against modern society that's kind of how that's why i put fight club a little bit uh a little bit higher but yeah. i love 300 too though uh what about yeah. you gator i'm gonna go with fight club i fucking love fight club all right yeah, see, ch- chat's making some good points uh zorkin did fight club yeah and, and actually the guy too what's his name again uh chuck Pal- palanchuk or something the guy who actually right. wrote the book I, there's one thing i learned afterwards is that he's uh, he's gay right the guy uh and, and there's things that stand out to me afterwards after so there's a couple of things like at, at one point um uh brad pitt says to uh who's the other guy that was in the movie uh the, 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 what's his name again the other guy who was the, the nerd uh, <laughs> john <laughs> cusack uh anyway john, doesn't matter. Cusack, you guys john cusack uh no i think it was i forget his name I he think, was in uh american history x that guy whatever his yeah, name was but it wasn't oh ed norton, norton sorry norton. why did i say right. john edward cusack norton. i always yes. get cusack mixed up with norton you're right not john yeah cusack. ed norton he says to him um they were talking about like you know growing up with women and stuff like that and they at one point in the movie he says maybe maybe another woman is not what we need <laughs> stuff like that it was a, another scene at the end where he he splices in pornography um uh, uh, frames into the movie theater that he works at uh which is of a of a of a penis <laughs> for example and stuff like that so i was like there's some veiled stuff in that movie that's trying <laughs> he's trying to recruit uh chuck palanchuk and, and zorkin they're trying to recruit so I, I was after i learned that i was like okay i gotta i gotta rewatch this and <laughs> see it with new eyes i still i i, I mean it's a good movie otherwise <laughs> there's some there's some big question marks about it 
I mean, I the problem is no, no movie, no modern movie you're going to find that doesn't have some sort of degeneracy. In it. There was a ton of degeneracy in 300, too. Right, right. Yeah. Right, Gay we're club. Tr- we're like. trying to get real Poseidon <laughs> on the show. Uh, honestly, I miss a lot during the show. So if you could just email me, the Ralph at the Ralph retort dot com or just, I don't know, tag me on Twitter or somewhere. Uh, a lot of different ways. Gator, secretary at Killstream Live. But yeah, we, we have been wanting to get you on the show for a while. So please uh, follow up on that and chat. If you see anything, save it for me so I don't miss it. Um, okay, let's keep going. I can uh, send him a message. I, I think it happened on, on Telegram. I can send yeah, him a message. let's get him yeah. on. We sure. Well, not tonight. We want to hype it. You know, we, we'll have him for another <laughs> guest. I mean, we could get him on tonight if he wants to. If he wants to come on tonight too, that's fine. Uh, Captain seriously says, "Feel like you're making a difference, caller." Uh, Spitzer the first says, "Bring me on with Henrik." Base Nibba says, "Bronx does not actually watch Red Ice, obviously." Um, I don't know. It always amuses me, like how extreme they call you guys. And I watch you. I'm like, nah, that's not really that extreme at all. Like, what are they even talking about right now? Uh, it's kind of. It's just strange. about canceling. It's just about canceling them. That's yeah. all they care about because they have a different opinion that happens to be on the right wing of things, and thus they must be. They must be bad. By the way, 1,500 people watching us live, uh, dlive.tv slash the Ralph Retort, also chill stream uncut, all one word over on YouTube. Shout out to Kaz as well. Uh, wait, content consumer says Bronx is here just to gather data, malicious actor. Well, you know, he's a lefty. He's calling in. If I shut him out, they would say, Ralph, well, you're just running this you know, extremist show and you never have any dissenting voices. So that's why I bring him on. Uh, Mordecai Stewart says, wow, Bronx actually being decent. Well, for, for Bronx, that was pretty good. Content consumer <laughs> says, do you disavow equals? Do you love big brother? Cooper says black history, 10 pages, Holocaust, half of a textbook. Um, the thin red line says, why can't we discuss the Holocaust? We can't. I, I never said we couldn't. We got mad about, uh, uh, West, the great I says, I mean, in society in general. Well, yeah, I mean, it is like that red, you know, the third rail, they used to say social security yes. and the safety yep. net is that third rail. Uh, and now it's like, Oh, if you even say anything, even jokes now that Jewish comedians made themselves, like, uh, uh, yeah, you, you be careful. The Thin Red Lawn says, "Why should we be? Re- sh- why should we be replaced because of the Holocaust? We shouldn't." I would argue. Uh, West the Great says, "I'm depressed." Uh, he's depressed about things not happening. Uh, Pirate Seven Seven uh, with the diamond, Captain Seriously with the diamond. Pirate Seven 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 says, "In her prime, Heather Graham or Jennifer Lawrence." I'll start it with you, Gator. Oh shit! Uh, don't kick it to me first. You, I don't have to answer that first. I'm the <laughs> host. Hmm, that's a tough one because is it Jennifer Lawrence now or Jennifer no, no, Lawrence? No, 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 no. By the way, I'll put it a uh, prime J <laughs> J Law <laughs> or Heather. Let me put this. Hmm. I'm going to have to go with Heather. Wow. And it's because if this was a couple years ago. The poll ago, is up, by the way, over on Entropy. If you this was a couple years ago, I might say I might say J-Law. But, like, it's been clouded by all of the shit that she has said and done the past couple of years. Yeah, but she's not. I mean, look, she's not reading Locke to me while I'm fucking her brains out. Is that, I mean, is that part of the equation? Well, yeah, but also. Also, you got to imagine uh, a particular partner that she's allegedly had. And look, man. Wait, what partner? <laughs> who, uh, you know, did- you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, what's his face? <sighs> the guy that the guy that uh, shit, I can't think tonight. Heather Graham what, what? in her prime in the nineties, though, is just like wow. What's the name you of know, that fat, disgusting sack of shit producer? That's that was like accused by everybody of, of Weinstein. Not Dan yeah. Oh no, she Weinstein. Yeah, did yeah. She yeah. Harvey's with been, Weinstein. Yeah. No, hold on. 
Harvey's she... been mangina up in that, yeah. <laughs> so you no, not Harvey. Oh, he probably got it very early. Didn't he didn't Miramax produce Winner's Bone? Oh my god. That's when she first got her Academy Award uh nomination. Let's see if Miramax produced that. Oh man. Uh I can't see right now if they actually do. I cannot believe I forgot Harvey Weinstein's name. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing. Yeah, it was a good thing, yeah. <laughs> now I just remembered Harvey Weinstein allegedly has a mangina. Yeah, I remember that too. That was a very interesting and shocking admission there. I forget who made it, but uh, <laughs> it was in the... Uh, yeah. Was it in a... In a um... Uh, deposition or something that came out. I, I forget. Yeah, I was in a deposition. Uh, one of the yeah. uh, one of the accusers uh, said he had, to, he had a mangina. I was like, well, he, you know. he, he injected it directly with like uh, t testosterone or something like that, didn't he? Or steroids or something? Or, or, yeah, something. <laughs> However, that right. uh, would work. We'll, we'll keep the poll running as, as a flap. <laughs> what about you, Henrik? <laughs> you know, prime time Heather Graham. By the way, I'm going Heather Graham or J Law. Now, J Law spoiled before. Ah, uh, we'll just have to say spoiled after, I guess, by Weinstein. That's that's the paradigm here. Uh, who would you vote? The polls up. Uh, yeah, Graham kind of has these like crazy kind of cow eyes. There seems, seems to be some kind of something there which is not quite right. Uh, I don't know if that's just. I don't think that's just a acting. Uh, but so I, I I would have to go with with Graham. I think on that one. Uh, Should be good for a night. I mean, it's not no, yeah. nothing. It's not like you're gonna marry or anything. Now, not, let, none, let, of, none of these people are. Uh, they're all they're all ugly on the inside. <laughs> that's very true. No, that's Heather Graham <laughs> winning uh, so far in the poll. Uh, let me take that off the screen. Let me also take some polls. Let me also apologize to Lana for being so disgusting here on the kill <laughs> stream. Uh, <laughs> And, you absolute degenerate, <laughs> Ralph. <laughs> Let's take another caller. Mick, you're on the kill stream. Go. Hey, Mick. what's up? What's up? Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey. Hey. Hey, what's up, guys? Gator, how you doing? Doing all right. Right on, brother. Henrik, love you, man. You do great work. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm I'm here with my uh my nephew. Let's just call him uh let's call him Mills. What's up, Mills? Say what's up. What's up? Yeah, this is my <laughs> nephew. He's eleven years old listening to you guys talk about this shit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, yeah, he's I'm not, he's not eleven. Boy. He's not eleven disavow. Continue with your call. Oh, is there an age limit on what No, there's to? not. There's not. Okay, but they're gonna well, clip right, well, he, he's, then then he's eighteen. He's eighteen. <laughs> he's eighteen. Yeah, he's better. eighteen. He's a good boy. He didn't do nothing. <laughs> Tip, yeah, go ahead with your question, buddy. Tip to have you. But, no, uh, I don't know, man. Like I like I was uh arguing with uh my uh family on Facebook and I, I just I don't I'm not talking to these people no more. They're so brainwashed by you know leftist bullshit media about like black people didn't do nothing wrong or i don't know sorry i can't say that maybe dindus didn't do nothing wrong no you said it right and black people was ridiculous. better than dindus no all right okay well all right well then black people didn't do nothing wrong and that's that's total black bullshit, people man. is when accepting parlance sir dindu is not that's the thing that's what i'm trying to tell okay. you okay all right well okay. all right well i'm sorry i apologize ralph i don't want to get you in trouble bro all right. All right. So like, accepted. The, the stats just the now. stats just don't lie, dude. Right? I mean, when you look at like the murder rate, the rape, burglary, I mean, all of the stats don't lie. And now look, that's not to say that, you know, that's not like saying all black people are bad people. I mean, obviously, oh. like I got black friends. I'm a so I'm a fully uh, I got a black friends card and shit. You know, and I got black Some... people in my fucking family for Christ's sake. And you know what? Wait, uh, what? Quite wait, a wait, 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 wait. You have black. Wait, hold on. You have black people in your family. Dude, my name is uh, Spicknick. <laughs> I mean, come but on. But you, what do you just think said they're means? pieces of shit. What? Did you never give them a chance? Is that no, why I'm they don't saying... like you? No. What happened? Why, don't, why are they such saying... pieces of shit? Maybe They're... you just didn't. No. 
look, I'm arguing with all the white ones. None of the none of the black and Spanish ones that said shit. I'm arguing with all the fucking white ones. But what about but, the black you know, ones? Fucking, what about I'm, the black members of your family? They ain't said shit. You They're said they don't shit. like you. What? No, I'm saying the white ones are the ones that I've been arguing with, and those are the ones. What that have they I, been I saying? What have the white? Like wait, wait, wait. What have the white members of your family been saying? Oh, well, of course that, uh, well, you know, black people had it real hard and, you know, slavery and, you know, back in the 1960s, you know, white people were lynching them. Even though if you actually look at like who got lynched, it was only 3000 people over a span of how many years? I don't know. Of how many years? Like what? 30 years or so? I don't know. I'm not familiar with this stuff. Yeah, see, I'm really familiar with that. Like, I pointed I out to my really cousin, he said, well, what about, yeah. he said, what about hate crimes? I was like, all right, hate crimes, black people ain't doing very good on those. Uh, and he looks at the stats, and he says 53% right. Look, we're not, of we're not black putting people putting up numbers. We can't put up 20... numbers. Make... Thank you. Oh, were we about to put up a tally? Is that what was about to happen? <laughs> <laughs> gonna crunch the numbers there. Get our best people on it. <laughs> our best. Wait, hold on. I have a clip. I have a clip to play here. Oh my. God. Let me see how long this is. You know what? Pull this up, Henrik. Uh, in the sidebar, this is a little short interlude. <laughs> then we'll go the rest of the show. I think Warsi's gonna be jumping in at a certain point. But play this. Uh, I'm gonna pull it up. Right now. We have top men working on it right now. Who? Top men. Top men working on it right now. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. That, that, that's, I'm mean, just about to say that, that. That is definitely the truth right there, though. The Smithsonian, look into it. It's not a lie. So many things that they have put in boxes and stored away shit that we're not allowed to know about, stuff that just doesn't fit, uh, out-of-place artifacts. I love that kind of stuff. We used to cover that all the time. Uh, it's not wrong, this, this stuff that they show there. Black Phillip says, zero Americans died in the Holocaust. Zip, zilch. Never Surrender says, remember the Hol Holodomor and Dresden. Mick says, take our calls, please. We did. Godzilla 37 says, Henrik is one of the very best. I would agree with that. Godzilla 37 says, salt of the earth. Cooper says, Ben Franklin didn't discover electricity with a kite. Uh, Black Phillip says, Henrik, have you watched the TV show Vikings? And is it paused? Uh, yeah, it became obviously. Of course, I actually liked uh, the first uh, first season, uh, maybe into second a little bit, and then of course they just uh, you know got somewhat popular, very popular actually, and it just then it derailed. <laughs> it's just I, I stopped watching it. It was just uh, too bad, and and, and that was the season three or four, and then they brought in. Uh, I mean, things are just completely historically out of context, despite the fact running on history channel they couldn't even <laughs> they couldn't even pull pull it off so no i just i had to stop watching it because i just got so triggered of all the bullshit and they, and they always show them as kind of if you look at it they show them as kind of like you just psychotic and like a murderous and like almost psychopathic in the way most of the most of the vikings and stuff like that so uh no i think there's a lot of propaganda in that show all right andy warski is here sir can you hear me Oh, we'll see. I think he's switching over to the hangout as well. Uh, Sigma Zero says, Fight Club is filled with gay subtext, though. Pits of Cowboys <laughs> says, John Cusack, famous star. <laughs> Fuck! 
John Cusack. <laughs> I can't believe you said John Cusack. <laughs> John Cusack, famous star. You blocked star me on Twitter, by the way. You blocked of, me on Twitter. Why? <laughs> I have no idea. I think it's a block list. I never, never probably, talked to the guy. I just you know, you know why? It was probably because he was the famous star of American History X, as Pensive Cowboy <laughs> noted. I think that's, that's right. exactly that's right. what happened there. Uh, Nick's biggest fan, 90, says, great show as usual. Tits or ass, Scrub Lord Man is asking you, Henrik. Uh, tits. All right, now we asked this question. Hey. Gator, you already said ass, didn't you? Or did, you did you say no, tits? No, I'm a tit man. It's I'm tits. a tit man all Worski, the way. Worski, go ahead. Oh, Worski's dead. Yo, Andy, you there. Oh, he's probably still setting up his <sighs> microphone. I'm a pussy or a face man. That's not even in the equation. <laughs> That's not even in the equation, but they're very important, ladies and gentlemen. What about a, uh, a, a Weinstein mangina kind of no, man? No, I'm not that kind of man. <laughs> what about that? I'm not that guy, you motherfucker. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Laser person, <laughs> laser person says you're debating over two Hollywood movies. I don't give a fuck. I watch Hollywood movies. Get over it. What is that? All right, Henrik. Okay, so we watch movies. Does that? What does that mean? You're, you're just completely. <laughs> what you're just supposed to ignore the mainstream culture and just not pay attention to what the fuck's going on? Doesn't that sound retarded? Yeah, I, I've always been very uh, intrigued, kind of watching what they what they try to to pitch and and sell us, and I mean, and there's just so much. Pro these are these are multi million dollar efforts that Hollywood and and this particular uh, coastal elite is is inserting into these movies, and it's for very specific reasons. Uh, that's why it's of course very interesting to decode some of this stuff. So I, I've uh, kind of checked out a little bit the last maybe I don't know four or five years or so on like keeping up with the Hollywood movies. But I used to be really into it and like watching a lot of the symbolism and stuff that they weave into there. Uh, you know the, the the way that they're you know try to propagandize people and stuff like that. So I think I think it's actually good to keep up with it and, and try to look at it with a symbolic and a critical mind because uh, there's some interesting stuff they put in there. We can oftentimes see what narratives they're going to go with by the movies that they release. They always push a narrative first through popular media, and then you see it start to work its way through into the news and other places. So when you're watching movies, if you have a very uh, watchful eye, you can start to pick up on certain things that they're trying to talk about, that they're trying to push. You know, like the movie Hidden Figures comes out, and then you get all of the, B, you know, the, the BLM stuff starting to, you know, work its way through so you can kind of see what they're working on if you just Gator, pay attention Gator. to the media they're producing hey what's up hey they already had a blm movie it was called the purge oh no <laughs> <laughs> the, the entire purge purge series was blm <laughs> mr worski so how you doing sir i'm doing fantastic i've been enjoying the show uh what's going on guys how are you doing tonight now you've talked to hendrick before right no, I don't I've think never, I have. No, no, we've never had. Nice to meet you, Andy. How's it going? No, you as well, man. What's going on? How you doing? Very good. Thanks. Yeah, uh, I like that impromptu uh, blood sports you had on the, on the show. It was pretty fun. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a repeat of last time, basically. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't learn anything new. He always comes in with the same yeah. shit, just derail the conversation. Yeah, broken record. Yeah, what about <laughs> the, the Holocaust? You're like, what about like <laughs> imagine like you had a friend, right? That you'd see at a party, and then he'd be like, Yo, what about the Holocaust? Every time you saw him, you'd be like, dude, chill the fuck out. <laughs> He's like, bro. <laughs> Plus, the <laughs> thing is, Brox like, admitted he doesn't give a fuck about the Holocaust. He's anti Zionism. Like he is. He said that on the show. He said that tonight. Anyway, Walrus Aurelius says Harvey. Uh, been up in the up in them guts, Ralph. Accept it. Sigma Zero says Weinstein's bone. <laughs> Greg, Greg Anderson TFK says let's get hashtag Vouch, Vouch visit Chaz trending. He's in Tacoma. Nebula ninety nine says Hendrick with the base gaming chair. Spencer the first says damn it, Ralph. I want I want on you jogger. Just kidding. Love you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Maximus the Merciful says. The Smithsonian covered up the Anunnaki, uh, Pyrus 777, uh, yeah, based and red pilled, uh, Pyrus 777 with the diamond, uh, 
uh, via Puhe FM with 24 viewers now hosting. Uh, thank you. He has a really big channel on here, by the way, uh, that doesn't speak English. Uh, I don't think they do, at least, they, 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 do a, work, they yeah. do a few shows in English. At least when I was watching the other day, it wasn't in English, but I know for a fact he watches the kill stream and he speaks English. Cause I see him in the chat. So shout out to him and his chat and the people on there who do speak English and Juno the, one, Tino, they do, and do the ones. Work. Yeah. And the ones who are smarter than me who speak uh, Portuguese and English. Now explain who they are. You go ahead, Henrik. Sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, uh, they're they're a couple out of uh, Finland, and of course they've been you know watching and covering a lot of the kind of the uh, the same thing really that's happening in in, in Finland as as in uh, Sweden and many other European countries. Immigration, open borders. They they uncovered some pretty good stuff uh, about the well, good stuff, but it was good that they covered it. They brought attention to uh, some of the rape scandals. I forget the town. It was the northern uh, northern parts of Finland, I think. Uh, Junas right now is on the town council. Uh, also, for, forgive me, I forget the town name of it, but he's been ruffling some feathers recently about that and they're usually they're out on the streets many times they were covering the believe it or not there's a bml uh, blm finland of course right of course there's a blm finland right they were actually out covering this stuff and it's just i mean it's just such a joke when you see this stuff from like um I mean, especially like Northern European countries, like Scandinavian countries and, and Finland and stuff like that. Uh, you know, not that it's justified, uh, you know, in the in the in the UK or or Belgium, but I think it's even more absurd uh, that it exists in in uh, in Scandinavia and Sweden and Finland because it's like there's no there's no comparison. And that's not to say that the, the, what's happening in the U.S. or anything like that is justified. Obviously not. It's absurd and 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 just fucked up right there too. But that the, the, they're trying to pull off the same kind of arguments, like in in Finland and stuff. It's just like I don't know. It's a, it's a it's a global movement now, and they are seeking a, any Western country, any country that has white people in it. These same organizations and groups are popping up. They're driven by the American narrative, and they're pushing the same things on us there that they do there. Uh, or or here rather, uh, but yeah. So so Junus and Tina they cover a lot of that kind of stuff. So definitely check them out. They do uh, they do great work. Good also, people. Also, also not Portuguese. I was mixing that up with Worski. Uh, no, now right? tell the country again. <laughs> no, it's not. Tell the country again, Hendrik. It's not Portuguese. I don't know where the fuck I got that from. Uh, tell tell uh, the great again. country of Portuguese. Yes. Not you, yeah. Hendrik. The, the channel you were just promoting. <laughs> Finland, yeah, Finland, you said Finland, 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 Finland. Finland. Yep. Uh, Portuguese infection taking over the kill Jordan. stream. <laughs> Portuguese is the language, Ralph. Portugal is the Whatever, Portugal. same <laughs> difference. We know, it's, we know what you meant. Portugal, Portuguese, Portu. Pirus 7, Pirus 777 says, best post-apocalyptic movie 28 Days Later or Book of Eli uh oh man i don't know that was a ninja guinea I... mm, wait well what... 28 eli days or... later or book of eli i'll say book of eli i really like that actually that's a cool movie yeah the road but if you think about either. that either the road that's my thunderdome <laughs> pits of cowboy says hidden figures was a great sequel to space certain types of things uh mick says <laughs> mick says back me up andy daredevil's advocate says i would be interested in a red ice produced movie uh, he saw my change there spicy one says i thought they said weinstein had penis like an egg Pensive Cowboy says, was, John. Was that scene? Was that scene? <laughs> There's always something wrong with these guys. Is, uh, you know what? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Egg shaped and manginas. Pensive Cowboy says, John, <laughs> John Cusack, famous Finno, Finno Portuguese D Live star. Yes, that's correct. Magna Thedra says, Henrik, watch Vinland Saga anime Viking badassery. Magna Thedra. Oh, I love just, Vinland Saga. Magna Thedra just subscribe monthly. Uh, very kind. Thank you so much. Let me check and make sure I didn't miss anything else. Uh, and then we'll take some calls uh, as we do tomorrow night. Adam Green coming to the wow. kill stream on Tuesday. Uh, I think it's penciled.
We might have to start it a little bit early, uh, but Captain Tazariak versus Southern Dingo, our black, oh, no. uh, our Dude, black Israelite oh, friend on Tuesday. We might have to start it at 8.30, uh, but it looks like we finally have the matchup. Dingo versus Captain Tazariak. If it doesn't happen Tuesday, it's penciled in for now. I want it at 9.30. If we have to move some stuff around, we can. Uh, but that... Uh, that's on the cards, actually. The dingo gets really intense. I swear to God, it's always Look, like the dingo's hard going R straight to the, the majors, dude. Tongue. Dingo's going straight to the majors because he didn't have to do the Bronx event, uh, and he's going straight to Tazariak. And I don't know. I'm the moderator, so I won't comment. But I will say, I don't think it's out of line to say Tazariak is kind of one of the toughest. He, he's pretty much dominated his last two. That's going to be the best blood sports in a long time. I think he's dominated his last two bouts. Can Dingo. Oh man. I don't know. I shouldn't say anything else. I'm the moderator. Dingo is good though. Dingo. He's intense. I was playing video games once and he phoned in and by the end we're doing a anti BLM show. That's all. Now, I'm now we're looking at doing that. <laughs> we're looking at doing that on Tuesday. Uh, and then what's the rest of the calendar? Hold on. Let me look here. Uh, Johnny Monoxide of the Paranormies on Monday. So that's going to be a paranormal show. Looks like uh, Southern Dingo versus Captain, Captain Tazariak on Tuesday. John Della Rose coming back on Wednesday. We don't have Thursday and Friday filled just yet. I might make a call to the, uh, to the Dame one to see if we can get him uh, to show up for the Friday show, but we'll see. Uh, Magna Thedra with the subscription. P Pits of Cowboy says, why does Ralph hate Finland? Very racist <laughs> to Asians. I do not hate Finland. Oh my God. Ooh. I cannot wait to travel. Oh, man. Uh, I can't yeah, travel man. out of the country, but I can travel across the U.S. Let's go to New York City, Worski. Yo, I'm down. That's just south of me a little bit. We should Are you down? Head down there. Yeah, let's go. Two dollar TTS, three dollar media. Let's you go. This I would rather end my own life right now on stream. <laughs> no, no, you're not. No, 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 not no, 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 no. No, I'm saying, not, Worski, not. <laughs> no, not IRL streaming. Let's just go kick it in. No, New I York. know, I know, I, oh, I know. I'm telling G Gator just said three bucks. <laughs> no, dude, I have I'm nightmares hearing the. The the ducktail song the dun, 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 dun. I, I still wake up to that. Um, <laughs> By the way, my alarm clock in the morning. Well, you know what? We'll plan it. If we do something like that, we'll plan it, uh, and we'll plan and it'll out. Be fun. It'll yeah. be fun. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, won't yeah. just go this weekend. We'll plan some events to hit. It won't be IRL yes. streaming, but we'll film some stuff, uh, and it'll be fun. New York would be a good one. L.A. of course. Uh, I have a voucher from Spirit Airlines that basically has me a free ticket to L.A. right now. Oh, cool. Uh, so, oh, yeah, because you had purchased one for yeah, uh, the, uh, what was it called? Road Rash or whatever it's called? Yeah, Road, road Rage. Rage. So road I Rage. have the ticket to LA uh, and to a lot of other places, and the restriction has been lifted. So, um, what, 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 the restriction from your like arrest and stuff? Or, well, no, well, so they suspended all probation travel. Uh, for during the COVID thing, and they oh, just because now of that. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Gotcha. Now I'm yeah, yeah, okay. I'm almost off of it altogether, but um, right. that shit's oh, over. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Dan Bigfoot says Tommy Sotomayor said he would debate anyone. All right, Secretary, you heard this. Really, G Gator? Tommy? Yes. Yes. Bro. Listen, let's get the Secretary on this. I'm gonna put it in the chat and tag this person. We're very secretive about the identity. Let's put it here. Uh, no, it's not Gator. He does enough with the thumbnails and all that shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm too busy. Re remixing. Too busy doing everything else. Yeah, he's too busy doing <laughs> everything else. All right. Uh, okay, we will look into that. All right, let's see. Let's take some calls here. Let's finish it out for Henrik. It is, what, 11.30. Wow. You know, we, we love speaking to you, Henrik. Uh, I think it's been a, well, thank a, a you. Great... It's great to be on. Yeah, yeah, you're enjoyable to listen to, man. Awesome. Thank say. you. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> and I was just thinking the other day, I was like, man, you know what? It's been a long while since we've had him on. Let's bring him on the show. Uh, well, and it was I a pleasure that, to be on. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much. All right, let's roll through these callers, though, because I think uh, a lot of them actually want to talk to you. Uh, Ice Cold, go ahead. You're on the kill stream. Ice Cold. 
You are very cold, sir. Sorry, you have Get to leave. colder by the second. Spencer, you're muted. You didn't need to do that. Wait. Oh. oh, yeah, sorry. You got the color box. I was like, I, I think we're all... <laughs> no, you don't have to mute yourself when you go in the green room. It automatically mutes you, and then when I pull you out, it unmutes you. Spencer, go ahead. Hey, what's up, Ralph? How's it going? It is going fan fucking tastic. We're on top of the world here at the Kill Stream. Andy Worski with the after show uh, afterwards. Mm-hmm. Uh, D Live TV slash Subculture. We're pretty That's much funny shit tonight. We're pretty much the masters and the rulers of the world, as Sid Vicious used to say. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I about to say I came. I came on right when we were doing that whole uh, Holocaust debate thing. I thought this was a Heel Stream 2.0. Only this time, we're not even pretending <laughs> to help the fucking kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. kind of felt like. um, yeah, but yeah, no, Henrik, great to, great to see you. Great to talk to you, brother. How's everything over there? Yeah, yeah, same. Good to good to hear from you. Uh, everything is good. How are you, man? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. So yeah, the um, uh, well, I, I guess my I guess my question for Heinrich is the whole um, I'm I'm just gonna go out with it since this is the kill stream. We go straight up. We go. This is this is a shit flinging thing. So. What's your what's your deal on the whole religion thing? I heard you were pagan, quote unquote. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Okay, fair enough. Now my whole thing is <laughs> my, my whole my whole thing with ah, pagans. I guess. Uh, you're what going you to mean? hell. Okay, you're going yeah. to burn in hell, but fair enough. All right, go ahead. We, <laughs> yeah, 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 we yeah, understand. I, I we understand. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, but go ahead. Oh, fa- oh, fair enough. Okay, <laughs> Ralph, can you let me have like? Can you let me have? Yes, have like I won't say anything. I swear, I swear, I swear, I won't say anything else. But it was just funny oh, how on. you said that because the fair enough is clearly well, you know, it's gonna be painful uh, for yeah, you. But go anyway, fuck yourself. but anyway, all right, go ahead. I won't say anything else. I swear. Go ahead. <laughs> I swear. No, no, no. Nobody Ralph, else. Ralph, nobody Ralph. else say anything. <laughs> no. Shh, nothing. Don't say anything else to okay, me. Okay. Just you and Henrik right now. Nothing else to me. Nothing. Okay, okay Ralph. Um, no. Can I get a five? No. 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 <laughs> no. Nothing to me. Just go no. into it. Just go, go into it. Go now. Okay. 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 Just go. Uh, go into it straight up. My issue, my issue with the pagans is it's just such a LARPy fucking fantasy as far as I'm concerned. And I don't mind them in our movement because at this point we're at the 11th hour and there's nothing I can do about it. I'll take anyone I can fucking get. But what it boils down to is like the last thing the real pagans ever did was convert to Christianity. And some people say that, oh, well, they converted at point of sword. They converted because they're forced. I just think of that argument. I'm like, do you know history? Look at what, look at what they did. Look, they were raiding the coasts of Europe and going inland for 200 straight years. And all of a sudden, they got so badly overpowered, they changed their entire worldview right around the time they learned how to read Latin. Or is it a better philosophy, a better idea, a better way to summarize the situation? They learned that Christianity summarizes all the important points of paganism and makes it complete in a sense, makes it a more holistic worldview. So for me, the idea that the pagans just converted because they were forced on their knees at the sword, it doesn't make any sense to me. Now, I'm open to ideas, I'm open to new suggestions, but I think that Christianity has been with our people for a thousand years, pagan any culture that was formerly pagan included and i really think trying to fight against that is an uphill battle i'm open to replies from heinrich on that go ahead what's your question well fair point yeah it's pretty much just uh screw your religion i don't believe in it soliloquy give us the question no no i I, i'm not i'm not i'm not saying screw your religion i'm saying what's your objection to christianity as opposed to paganism because to me it seems that the one completes and complements the other. Like I've read the half a mile, I've read various Nordic pagan texts and they don't disagree with my Christianity in any sense of the word. So I'm curious what about Christianity do you, do you find objectionable? I don't, I just I don't care about it. It's not, it's, ah. not, it's not, no, no, it's fine. I just, I, I don't. Are you, let me ask you a question. Are you pro European first or are you pro Christian first? Pro European. Pro European. There you go. So I, I don't shit on Christians. I don't uh, go after people who are Christians. I, I respect my, I love my Christian brothers and sisters. I don't have a problem with it. I don't talk too much about it these days. It's my personal belief. I know that it's such a wedge issue that I've decidedly put it to the side. If we cannot fight about religion, I agree with you on that. 
I think the most important thing is to try to just unify, pull in the same direction, and all this kind of window dressing shit we have to sort out later. Uh, these are my personal, you know, I have my own beliefs and personal beliefs, but I will not get into it with people regarding the religious uh, uh, question or issue because it's just, it's uh, right now it's just too divisive. And also we have a lot of people that actually drive intentionally those wedges within uh, the pro-European community to cause rifts and division and stuff like that. So uh, it maybe a boring answer, but I, I, I actually truly am diplomatic on this end and I don't have a problem with Christians. I don't, I, we have a pagan Christian heritage and that's at, at the, the base level to get our people to recognize that we have a shared culture, all of us, no matter which religion we, uh, you know, uh, adhere to today. The most important thing is the survival of our people so that we can continue, not a tradition. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like, Wait, I thought the, it was Judeo-Christian. The, 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 the survival oh, of, Ralph, don't of, even get of started. <laughs> the survival of a spiritual tradition is not what I'm after. I, I don't. I, I sure I care about it. Is a different. Uh, is an interesting thing and, and important, but it's a side issue to what the objective is right now. I don't care about the survival of a spiritual tradition. I care about the survival uh, of our people, and so therefore. If you're Christian, great, fantastic. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, reasons I could, you know, wheel out and we could talk about this. And that's interesting. And we should have that. We can and we should have that discussion. But it's not it's not something that we can you should uh, uh, ride on over an issue that divides us on, on these important other issues. Uh, it's, we just don't have the time for it. We just don't have the the manpower for it. We just don't have that. So I just my answer is just if you're if you're. If you're not willing to put that to the side, then you are pro-religion, whatever religion you are first, and you're not pro-European. That's my view on it. So then you can go that's and fight you. about the, the religion. You know. Thank you, Colin. That's good. That's good. That's good to hear, brother. That's good to hear. I appreciate it. Um, generally, yeah. The only reason I mentioned that one in the in the call essentially is that that's probably the only thing that you and I disagree on as far as right. as far yeah. as our agreements go. The fine. work you do is am- the work you do is amazing. I love to support your show and. I hope you. I, I wish you, Lana, Gutrick, and Rorick all the best. I hope you guys are doing great over there. Um, Ralph, thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. Um, and Andy, you and I should. Uh, Andy, you and I should hang out sometime. I'm in the same city as you, so get on my. Oh shit! I yeah, him out. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead, sir. I didn't mean to take you out. Go ahead. You said you're you're in the oh, no. same city as Andy. Go ahead. Sorry, I cut you out. Yeah, I'm in the same city as Andy. Tell him to add me up on on Telegram. Same username, same username as I use on Follow D-Live. Me on, on, on Twitter, I don't, I don't use Telegram. Oh God damn it! I don't use Twitter. This is gonna get a, this is gonna get tricky. <laughs> add me on, on Just Discord. message him on Discord. I'm call. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, okay, very nice. I'll message, I'll message. I'll message him. On, I'll message him on Discord. But yeah, Ralph, Bring Ralph, Ralph, and Ralph and drugs, Heinrich, please. It was great to talk to you. Yes, um, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate, have appreciate, appreciate the uh, right. the, the, um, the little little bit little bit of fun ribbing back and forth. But yeah, other than that, as far as putting Europeans first, that's beyond the pale. That's the first thing we have to do before we fix there it. Then we can have yep. the other discussion later on. Maybe right. you and I can have a private discussion later about the whole religion issue. Of course, yeah. <laughs> no, that's fine. it's fun to have it. I'm not opposed to it. It just uh, in public as a way of of having it as a divisive issue. Right now, not a good idea. So it's just priorities. Right. Thank uh, you, Spencer. Thank you, Spencer. Appreciate it, man. I got to cut him. I gotta... You messaged uh, me on Grinder. I'll see you. Borple <laughs> Anvil, go ahead. <laughs> you guys in Europe have been dealing with this Antifa crap for decades. Over here, you know, the Proud Boys go out and just defend themselves. Don't attack the way they go straight to federal pound me in the ass prison. And like, you know, in Europe, where the governments quasi back those assholes, uh, our governments here do too. Like in yeah, Portland, they do. Yeah. Yep. Do you have any advice for us, just as regular people, how we can deal with and counter Antifa, if any way, she ever possible? Oof. Um, yeah, I mean, good, good question. I haven't really. It's one of those things where I've tried to. What What I see Antifa is right now is a there are objectives that are achieved by them at the same time they are they are a low level how do i, how do I put this they're, they're a low level attention seeking group that is being that is used and as you say backed by the establishment in many regards we have a, from hollywood stars now to uh you know uh, politicians and stuff that inserted money into bailing these people out after all the riots and shit like that you know we, we've seen the stories but they're there to like take our 
our, our, our focus and attention that that like as bad as Antifa is, they, they're not they're not the enemy, right? They're, they're part of the enemy, but they're not. They're, they're being used. There's a tool of them, but they are not. They're not it. They're not the the they're final the thing that we're battling. Bad guys. Exactly, exactly. They're they're useful idiots. They're allowed to roam around and do the things that they do, so that we will. Uh, I mean, the, the street battle kind of issue is important for them to kind of win or whatever. That's that's why they went after the Proud Boys so hard because they were actually a group that for the first time actually started you know fighting back against them, but. I haven't. This this kind of caught me off guard in the U.S. a little bit, as you said, because it was like, I know it was bad in Europe and stuff like that, but it was. I didn't realize how rooted it was in the U.S. Uh, and how widespread it was. But it's the the same mechanisms and the same kind of procedures and stuff. But maybe a boring answer. But I I would have to think about it some more. I haven't I haven't set like Antifa as like okay, how do we how do we you know push them back or fight back against it my my uh, per, my kind of own strategy or whatever if you will in this has always been to to aim higher uh to aim for a target that's above those people's heads kind of thing i just see them as a as a not a diversion necessarily but like just as useless rabble that's like in the way and people end up focusing on that when there's so many t- much much higher targets that we should go for uh maybe not the answer you were you were hoping for but i really don't have any any tips or suggestions i think that the optics of antifa has been so bad though in the us and since ever since 2016 that i think that they're doing <laughs> they're doing a good job themselves at totally discrediting themselves in, in a way it's almost like just step back butter the popcorn and let them just destroy their own reputation uh that's kind of what i'm seeing these days frankly dark butters go good evening ralph gator andy how you doing henrik very good how are you i'm doing great so i i live in california which is kind of the front line i guess for demographic replacement and kind of this demoralization strategy where you know we we had like a girl here that was killed because an illegal immigrant according to the courts dropped a gun and it went off and shot her and so i know in europe you have we especially in britain you had the rotherham yeah, the Rotherham rape gangs and basically those people being protected from prosecution. I just wonder, what what's your recommendation to fight back against kind of this weaponization of the legal system against, I guess, European peoples in general? Oh, uh, yeah, good question. I mean, Jesus. Uh, some days you realize the the opposition that we're up against is just feels uh, insurmountable and it's on it's it's infiltrated into everything. Uh, it goes high, high up into the the ranks of the of the elite and the establishment to the very highest order of things. And some days it feels like you know we're we're working uphill. I my again my objective have always been to try to uh, awaken as many people as possible to this the realization that that if we if we can weaponize the truth and 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 talk to people about what it is that's going on and we get it's it's not that it's just a numbers game but the but the the frank reality of it is that we need more people on our side we need normal people regular people working class people family people people who can see that you know th- that this is going in the in, in in the completely wrong direction this is something that will hurt them at the end of the day primarily of course uh, people of european descent but if there's others that see that too sure sure great i'm, I'm not against uh, uh you know division if there's if there's areas where you can line up with people to fight a com- com- common enemy and stuff like that Let, let's do it but again my tactics has not been to kind of look at the a specific or intricate parts of things, whether it's, you know, part of the legal system or like the media or things like that, or like the previous caller asking about specifics about Antifa and stuff. My have always been to cast a, a, a wide net, a wide net as possible. And hopefully with the, with the aid of like a lot more just regular people on our side, we can begin to actually turn things around, right? We need support networks. We need to, uh, one thing I've been looking at recently after all those riots and all this madness that has sure. been going on, it's like, Let's just let let's 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 do some kind of Orania thing and like pull out or something. Let's do let's create some kind of huh. parallel society that operates and that functions because this shit is 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 going down. But I I don't know. It's a very hard question. I don't have any, any good answers to it, frankly. Let's take another caller. Viridian Cavalier, go ahead. Lightning round. Oh shit. Hello, Heinrich. Pleasure to speak to you. Hey, how's it going? You look terrified of um, <laughs> Ah, uh, wait, uh, go in person. Hello. So, wait, wait, say this, say this, wait, say this. You say, bro, is that you? Say, wait, wait, say this. Andy, don't go to sleep tonight. Say no! That. Say that. Andy, don't go to sleep tonight or I'll chop off your man bun. Okay, that's oh a little my bit. God. That's oh a little my bit. God. I'm playing a horror game after this. <laughs> 
All right, go ahead for it, Andrew. Uh, all right. Um, oh, Lord. Uh, Heinrich, uh, just because I honestly don't, like, I, I don't even find that you're a pagan objectionable. I can understand why some people are repulsed by Christianity, either by certain inconsistencies within the doctrine or church politics. That really, when you boil it down, considering all the pagan shit that's been absorbed into it, uh, you want to see Christianity without the pagan elements? Look at fucking Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, it's a boring religion. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <It's>, it, <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> I guess, I, yeah. yeah. I guess what I just said I'm sort of preaching to fire someone <laughs> and also just very general. Just if you could just if you could describe your disinterest or what is it camp A doctrine doesn't compel you or it just isn't your thing or can't be you don't like the politics of the church uh well both but uh ultimately uh my people were among the last people to be christianized uh in in uh in europe uh we were ones to kind of go out of it first as well i don't think it was really a good fit uh for our people and it was just not something that appealed to me uh i like to look further back i, I don't discount uh, that there's a christian part part to our our you know Swedish heritage and tradition there is and I respect those parts but it was just not for me I just I it wasn't compelling it was just not interesting I found a lot more connection when I went out to as I said earlier to the in the actual field in the actual backyard of my own uh you know in my own uh, area where I grew up I found a lot of things right there that was right in front of me uh which I just was fascinated by and the history and it was just something with in, in the uh, in the in the identity, in the connection to the heritage that clicked and worked for me. Uh, and again, I don't have an issue if someone wants to be a Christian. I won't fight them on it. I won't debate them on it. It's just it's a it's more of a personal thing. I don't think uh, Sweden was very uh, good at the, the at at being uh, Christian. I guess <laughs> in, in a way. And it just again, it just it was barely there, and then it kind of left in a way. Um, and for other uh, countries, that's that's not true. For other for other nations, it was a much longer part of the heritage, but you know, there were there were uh, it was attached to them longer and stuff like that. But I I don't know. There there's some elements which just um, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't want to be offensive either <laughs> at the same time. But it's just like I you know it, it was the Christ as you said the Christianity that, that that was formed in in Europe of course had unique traits and elements which was kind of tweaked for us. But ultimately, it was not a religion that rose up. Uh, fr from from us for, uh, with with us in mind for it. There's a lot of other things which went into the early uh, history of of Christianity and the formation of it, and it was just expo it was exported later on. And I just uh, personally, I just didn't find a connection with it. Uh, that that's really it. It's, it's really the basic, you know, the most basic thing. Uh, all right, all right. I mean, before I let go, going before I'm let go, I'm just going to fill a, uh, fulfill a request for chat. Yeah. <laughs> Blow it out your ass. <laughs> no, 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 no. You have to say, hey, there's smooth skin. Oh, uh, no. He said that once already. Outsider, oh, go ahead. Yeah, he did. Outsider, okay. go ahead. Hello, everyone. Uh, so since you guys were talking about uh, Seven earlier in the on the show, uh, I'm reminded of a great quote from that film, which is, uh, uh, I don't think I can keep on living in a world that nurtures apathy like as bloody. if it is a virtue. And uh, it feels like w what I'm seeing right you, now, you have me. probably the, the worst thing that I'm seeing is, is a crisis of apathy that is uh, taken over the political class in the US, you know, in regards to uh, these attacks on, on white culture and history. Um, so, I mean, what, what do you guys think, of, think about this? Do, do you think that there's a way that people are going to wake up and, and break away from the two-party system and, and maybe find an alternative since, you know, Republicans are just bending the knee to, to this shit. Uh, Trump just keeps tweeting uh, law and order, but nothing seems to happen. What do you guys think about this? 
All right. Thank you, sir. Let me read this Ninja Gini. It's from Pyrus 777. He says, better movie, Young Guns or Boondock Saints? Oh, man. I don't know. Uh, pro. I like Boondock Saints. Young Guns is it's a great movie. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Boondocks, yeah, Boondocks uh, is fantastic. It's too good. Uh, go ahead, Henrik. Uh, what do you think about what he said? Yeah, I mean, uh, increasingly the political <laughs> system is, is not uh, not the not the solution. Third party, yeah, possibly. I mean, Red Ice is is, is steeped um, kind of our, our our culture of what we've been talking about over the years and stuff. I've always been steeped in this kind of idea that we're just talking about the two uh, two wings of the of the same bird. It's it's uh, it, we're talking, you know. Uh, the, the the permanent government right politicians come and go but the government is 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 always there uh you know we're talking about an establishment that op operates outside of that but they use the political system to advance it will never be our salvation doesn't mean you shouldn't vote it doesn't mean you shouldn't try it doesn't mean you shouldn't run for politics and try to change things but i don't see much uh solutions and answers coming out of that that system it's rigged it's intentionally rigged against us and to get lost in that or 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 you know, taking sides in in one or the other, even even though that's some like when Trump rose up to power and stuff, it's like you know, or, or when he got elected and is like he got you know more influence and stuff that 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 felt like so, whoa, something might change, something you know he could do some shit which never been done before, and then now look at it kind of thing, right? He he was consumed by the swamp. Nothing really happened except for Israel, of course, and they moved the uh, the embassy and all that kind of shit for them, uh, and they got Trump Heights and stuff. But no, I, I, I don't think the solution is in within the political system. Doesn't mean you shouldn't try to affect. Uh, it's a multi, uh, you know, multi front war, if you will. We should fight on every level that we can, culture, uh, politics, uh, media, all, all kinds of levels, all the time. But it's I don't see much hope in it, frankly. CGI Seagull says Dingo harness spurred powers to revel in glorious victory. Iris uh, with another contribution. Uh, Mick says. The former is true about Christianity. Mick then says, Proud Boys versus Antifa. The boys won more fights. Space, that's true. Space Cowboy 14 says, Normies are deaf waking up after these riots. Uh, Laser Person says, Ask the caller to say, Hey there, smooth skin. He has said that actually on this show. Uh, Spick, uh, excuse me. Mick says, The deep voice caller is right. Maximus the Merciful says immigrant flow only stops if they stop paying taxes. Uh, Pyrus 777. Young Guns and Boondock Saints. Uh, Worski and I pick Boondocks. What do you think, uh, Henrik? Uh, I, I never. Is it Boondocks, the, the two kind of Irish twins or something? Was yeah. that that one? Yeah. God, it was so long ago since I saw that. For some reason, I didn't like it when I saw it. Maybe I would change my mind today, but I would say, I, you know, if I have to be, make a choice, it's young, young guns, guns I guess then. It's yeah. really good. There's no yeah. wrong answer. Mick says, worrying about <laughs> religion. <laughs> Mick says, worrying about religion is like worrying about if you're white enough. Uh, Studio IKN with the uh, entropy stream live slash the Ralph retort contribution says, for Henrik, Given your views, what was your opinion of the movie Midsummer? Um, that was actually one of the fu last full-length <sighs> movies that I watched with uh, with my ex-wife, uh, and uh, even she didn't like it. I don't know. It was really it sucked, um, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. I, I saw the trailer and I was disgusted uh, that this uh, Jewish boy showed up and uh, tried to uh, subvert uh, my particular. Uh, religion and if people watch that stuff and 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 believe any of it then <laughs> you're, you're retarded <laughs> i don't know what to say uh, it is subversive propaganda i mean it's the most des despicable anti-white anti-swedish in this case uh stuff that uh, that you've ever seen and i decided to boycott it i didn't want to see it i saw the trailer i've had an i read about it that's it it's complete garbage what movie was that sorry i missed the name midsummer or oh, midsummer oh midsummer yeah i haven't heard yeah. of that yeah, it sucks. You, you didn't miss anything. No, okay, uh, perfect. No, not at all. Uh, I'm looking through. We have some calls. I'm not going to get to them all. I'm just going to be honest. Uh, Spencer the First says, "Great to talk with Henrik. Too bad no fireworks." Oh, it's not too bad. We had a we had a great <laughs> I'm, I'm conversation. Being yeah. I'm being diplomatic. You know, it's like, I, I I can you know we can sit and fight about it, but I just I know it won't be constructive. I know that there's enough people that will be. Uh, you know, and it's not but that I don't want people to be mad at me over. I don't. I just, it's just not constructive. Now, to be point. fair, you I, did mention me going to visit Richard Spencer uh, when I mentioned going to Alexandria the other day. I saw you say that in the chat. Well, what did you call? Oh, Richard again. <laughs> I think he's out. Is he? I think he's out of there, isn't he? 
Is he? Oh, I don't know. Out of the closet. What do you mean? What is he out of? <laughs> he's out of the closet. That's I mean, right. that's what no, it no, seemed to me. That's what you were intimating. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. No, I just, I'm just taking some stabs at the boomer. It's, it's fun. All right. I just, you know me, I had to start some shit. Uh, but yeah, in general, yeah, I mean, I would Actually, agree. Actually, you know, let me, let, me say, let me say this. Let me say this. Uh, he's part of a little crew there that uh, have decided to backstab Red Ice. And I did not initiate that. They did. So I just fired back a couple of times. But I, I, I generally stay out of it. I was going to make a video about it the other day or whatever. But it's just, these, these people are just not worth it, to be honest. Uh, if they wanted to sell us out because we spoke up against the coronavirus scam and fraud that it was, the total overreach and kill, overkill by government, and the way that the elites were trying to use the whole situation with, with COVID-19 as, as bullshit, and we called that out, and we had people who, tur who literally turned on us over that issue and started backstabbing Red Ice and with the coverage that we did, and we had to be ridiculed with some of the tweets that came out in the wake of that, then fuck you and fuck off. I don't need you. Captain, do you Siri, think that? Go ahead. Oh, sorry, I want to ask one, sure. one question actually too, because I, I, when the whole coronavirus thing hit, I was pretty worried, you know, because I was, you know, looking at the news and all that stuff, and I was trying to take precautions. I was laid off and all that stuff, so it has affected my life. Um, but so you're saying it's bullshit? Do you think it just it doesn't like? exist in how like the severity of what they're saying or what do you mean yeah no, no i mean obviously, or... obviously it, it, it exists right it's a it's a disease people got it and stuff there i mean yeah. some people have, have uh, question marks regarding uh the actual rna strand that the the, the pcr pcr tests that uh china handed us over information about what to test for there's some interesting questions there but i'm not like i'm not saying oh it's, it doesn't exist it's all a hoax kind of thing i'm talking about yeah. the actual reaction to it the overreach because the death rate as we've now seen there's zero cases in spain zero cases in italy zero uh, new deaths in in new york reported recently fauci even back in mark uh, may himself wrote in the new england journal of medicine that it has a death rate of the of the normal flu, about 0.2%. And none of the media asked him about this, right? None of it uh, cornered him on, on the preeminent medical journal that exists. A lot of stuff has come out in the wake of this where basically they fudged the numbers, the death certificates were rigged. Like even if you... If you died of being driven over by a car, but they but they you tested positive for COVID, that went on the death certificates. I mean, all this oh. stuff have been exposed. We, t we did... Uh, we've t probably done... I don't know, 10 shows uh, on that alone and just exposing how they just, how they uh, manipulated the numbers, how they overreached, the overkill. This was a, it was a power grab. It was to destroy small businesses, get major uh, market share for big companies and the multi-wealth uh, mega millionaires out there, the, the wealthiest people among us ended up yeah. making more money out of this than, than ever before. Right. And so this was, a, it was a, it was a, ta it was a part of this coup kind of thing. And it and worked. I, I, it worked for it their worked. like like sure. like in their in their in that perspective it did work for them because I go to downtown Toronto now the amount of closed businesses I see now downtown I'm like wow so many people lost everything you know yeah yep absolutely and it was over intentional. what over what I was hearing Ontario yeah, what's the death rate like, what what is it yeah, now? Like, I, oh, oh, was it, I heard uh, yesterday it was like oh thirty people died today in Ontario all, 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 our whole province right I'm like. 30 people don't like 30 people die from like cigarettes, cancer, uh, car accidents, AIDS, whatever, every single day. 30, like, what the fuck? That's kind yeah, of it's, it's, it's low nothing. It's for, a, for a pandemic, you know? It, it was a me this was a media, uh, uh, just a mind fuck. Sorry. <laughs> it's just no, like they, yeah, they, yeah. they did it and, and look at all the stuff that they have now wheeled out as a, as a, uh, response to this, <clears throat> excuse me, those like, there's going to be a second wave, everybody's going to need to be vaccinated, you have to do all these checks, you can't just walk around anymore, you have to wear masks, like all this bullshit stuff that they wheeled out, which is, it's not much different. It's, it's somewhat of a different disease, and it hits different people and stuff like that. But the fact is, there's so many things that people die of every year. And this, the, the, the yeah. way that people get their panties in a bunch over this thing, you know what I mean? It's just not proportionate. It's just Go not ahead, proportionate. Gator, you want to say death. something? Go it's ahead, all. Gator. Yeah, I was going to say, Bill Gates wanting people to get a tattoo indicating your list of uh, vaccinations that you've had, shit like that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, and, yeah. and then, like, we see now this, like, I swear to God, these protests woke me up, and I was just like, fuck off. Like, oh, what, now? Like people are walking around with masks in Toronto. Like, like we didn't have any violent protests, but they're all walking. The mal all their masks are hanging off their face, and 
the around their neck like a fucking a scarf or something. When meanwhile, a week ago or two weeks ago, they were giving people tickets for seven hundred dollars for being at the park yeah, with their friends. Right. Yeah, look oh at how the media God, twisted and changed it. it. Uh, look at how they. Uh, I, I, did you guys see some of those clips with the uh, media talking about like the the protest, the protest of the lockdown, how they treated them, and then how they switched once the BLM shit started. I mean, it's just so disingenuous. It's, it's disgusting. All right, let me, let me read it. this. Uh, Captain yeah, seriously yeah. says, how does Henrik feel about racism redefinition? We covered that last <laughs> night where they basically yeah. uh, changed it. You probably saw it. Yeah, and I heard you. I didn't know that. I heard you, Gator, uh, talking about the fact that she actually she had lost a, a, a debate over the issue and she start, started kvetching and whining because of that. Yes, <laughs> somebody, they were having a debate about racism and somebody literally countered with, well, that's not what the definition of racism is in the oh, dictionary. And she got God. so mad and flustered by that that she called up Miriam Webster and demanded they change the definition. And they did. That was amazing. Mix, yep. mix, uh, go ahead. You want to give some no, thoughts? No, bull, yeah, bullshit. Just... I mean, obviously, absolute bullshit. But this is how they do it, right? They re the redefinition of terms, new speak, uh, the, you know, put, just changing things, what they mean and stuff. This is one of the most dangerous things that they have. They, they, they control us with language and the words that we use and what those words mean. This is very, it's not the first time, it won't be the last time, but it's very worrying that they can just <laughs> step in and like, actually, that's not what it means anymore. Like, oh, really? Uh, it, it's despicable, you know? Southern Ningo says, Poseidon just said, I'm debating someone on here. Yes, that's Captain Tazariak, probably this Tuesday. Uh, then he says, also, hello, Henrik, huge fan. You helped wake me up. Uh, Spencer the first says diplomatic or I won lol hails to Hendrick though <laughs> no Spencer, <laughs> Spencer the first says Worski I don't know your discord name uh well you can find purple it dragon there. yeah purple dragon uh yeah. I'm gonna double click on all these yeah sorry you'll have to find that uh Hendrick it was great having you on this evening sir yeah great to be back tell boys. them where they can find you sir Yes, uh, Red Ice TV and Red Ice Members uh, Great way of supporting us, of course. Memberships. We're trying to expand, try to get some more people aboard. So we appreciate all the support out there. And we do shows on uh, live shows Wednesdays and Fridays, usually 5 p.m. Eastern. No go zone Wednesdays, and then Flashback Friday coming up tomorrow. Of course, Lana's coming back for the uh, for the second time after the little uh, maternity leave for Flashback Friday. So uh, definitely check that out. All the other stuff is on the website. So uh, and you, you have a subscription model, of course, on your website as well. Uh, so check that out. A lot of extra content. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Awesome. Thank you, boys. Really appreciate it. Have a good one, guys. All right. All right. See you later, buddy. Yeah. All right. Bye, see you, Andy. Bye, Gator. Peace. Thanks. All right. Let's switch back over to Discord. Uh, that's what we'll do. We're on Discord now. Uh, shout out to yeah. shout out to Hendrick. Speaking of um, speaking of subscription models, patreon.com slash the Ralph Retort. Can you, uh oh, wait. hey Andy, can you hear me? Uh, uh oh, Gator, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. Okay, so it's a Worski issue. Um, Worski, Worski, can you hear me? Look, I'll go here. Speaking of subscription models, uh, patreon.com slash the Ralph Retort. We put out a bonus episode today, me and Gator and Pay. I'm going to do a no another bonus episode over the weekend with Randbot. Uh, uh, little as $1, 16 bonus episodes. I think it might be 17 now. Uh, so check that out. We had four or five new patrons today. Uh, also on subscribestar.com slash the Ralph Retort and newproject2.com slash the Ralph Retort, although that's on hold. Now, that was my promo. Also, the shirts. I contacted them about the shirts today. They said they were a little bit delayed, uh, but they're still on track. So, okay. All right. Now, now I'm back. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I, I had an issue with my Discord, too. I had to restart it. It was being weird. Yeah, it does that sometimes. I had, to get, uh, wow. I had to get my plug my plug segment in, uh, so I switched rooms. Uh, let's see. Spicy One says, Moldbug versus Mike Enoch. Make it happen. Southern Nigo says, Henrik, notice me, Senpai. I think he did. Uh, anyway, that's it. Worski, what do you got for this evening? I'm going to play a few videos before I go, uh, but what do you got, got for this actually, evening? Yeah, I got a bunch of videos. Uh, funny ones, stuff that has to do with the BLM stuff, some humorous uh, things, as well as some surprises and stuff. It's going to be a fun show Ooh. tonight. That's over at dlive.tv slash subcultured. And then later we're playing um, Layers of Fear 2. 
Wow. So far, it's terrifying. So far, it's one of the most beautiful horror games I've ever played in my life. It's gorgeous. Oh, and we're looking at PS5 stuff today, so I'm talking about that. Yeah, and we didn't get to talk about that that much. Oh, dude. Uh, but I if you look, I'm so excited. So we oh. didn't get to talk about it much, but on the bonus episode, we covered it a lot. Uh, not to shill the bonus episode too much, but uh, yes, we definitely covered it a lot. So check that I out. I saw you made fun of the the uh, the the design or whatever, right? You made fun it of looks the, like a fucking tower fan. Design. Yeah, check out the bonus episode or a router. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. I guess that's about. But it, I I I honestly, I honestly like. I'll be honest. Like so, looking at all, I want that a tech could do. It's making my mind just race at the future gaming because it looks incredible. Uh, but I swear to God, I was so hyped by the end that when they showed the PS5, I was like, oh my God. Like, we have to wait till what, December now? I can't wait. Resident Evil 8, Hitman 3, all those new IPs, Ratchet know. and Clank, testing we'll out the quick loading of, the, uh, of how the, pro- uh, of how the uh, processor works like from world to world with no load times, it's going to be fucking phenomenal. I'm sorry. People can go. I, it looks you know, like shit. Like, it looks like pussy flaps up on the top. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I'm a PlayStation pussy, guy. So I love well, it. Well, I do too, but I, I look, we'll see what happens. Uh, I want to see what Xbox answers with. Uh, I'm leaning PS4 even still today. Just because five, I, I mean five, PS5. yes, because I'm you know been so deep in the PS4, but uh, oh. we'll see. Anyway, Worski, thank you, sir. Go start it up. All right, guys, we'll see you over there. Thanks, guys. Peace, Gator. Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem, bud. All right, I appreciate it. Also, my voice rapidly wearing out. Adam Green tomorrow night on the Kill Stream. He makes his return. Let me see here. Uh, I think I'm fully caught up. I do believe that's it. Good night. Rayman is awesome. I saw a Rayman mention. trick of fate we could have all that money in our hands i i must tell you the truth blondie in my place you would do the same thing it, it's all over for you now there's nothing anyone can do anymore look at me it's my fault, mine, 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 mine. I'll, I'll 
I'll tell you one thing, Blondie. If I knew that my last hour had come, I swear, in my place, in your place, I would do the same thing. I would tell about the gold. Yes, yes, I would. I'd tell the name on the grave. After all, what good is the money to you if you're dead? I know the name in the cemetery, but you know how many graves there are there. Please. Don't. I will always Please. honor will. your memory. <laughs> That's where this is from, my line. Coffee, please tell me the name. I, on the grave. If I get my hands on the $200,000, I'll always honor your memory. I swear. I'll always have the memory. Come closer. Tell, tell me. You dirty bush. I'm asleep better knowing my good friend is by my side. All the happy saints go marching in And if a saint step out of line You have to start again Cause Jacob's golden ladder Gets slippery at the top And many a happy-go-lucky saint Has made that long, long drop If I'm late, don't wait Go on without me Even Dr. King's assassination did not have the worldwide impact that George Floyd's mm -hmm. death did. Mm -hmm. 